All right, guys. BLM here. Back. Another live stream. That is if my internet holds up. We'll see. Um, yeah, I started um, a bit later than I wanted to because I've been testing my internet. Not great. <clears throat> I did restart the router um, just in case, but still, like, not great, but, like, it should be usable, but we'll see. Um... Yeah, uh, what do we got going on? We got Australian Survivor. Uh, that was a good episode. Really good episode, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, like, this has been a good stretch of episodes for Australian Survivor, I will say. Um, so, I don't know. Kind of turning around the season, I guess. We'll see if it keeps it up. Um, outside of that, I didn't watch Last of Us yet. Um, I'm interested, though. Um, considering... Uh, what was it? The uh, it's the Tommy episode, right? So I feel like like a lot of the stuff that I was like kind of upset about in episode one kind of culminates here, which is why I've been waiting to um, record my uh, Last of Us review, like get that started until today or tomorrow, I guess. Um, so that'll be a thing. Mitzi's and power ranking for Australian Survivor will be on Wednesday, and I'll put that all together on Tuesday. That's something. I mean, so far Jordy's number one, obviously. I mean, it's not really a debate, but. Uh, we'll see where he's at after this. Um, not the Simon giving up his idol. I actually... Well, the thing is, like, if he knew it was a fake idol, brilliant plan. Amazing. Uh, the problem is that he doesn't know it's a fake idol. Um, so, if, like, if he's actually giving up an idol, I think that makes it, like, a bit tougher. I still think it's probably a better move for him. Um... Because, like, more than likely, if, like, he doesn't give them the aisle, then they're Evening just going to make him flush it, right? I see you made it here um, in case. So it's like, I feel like by doing this, at least he gains some trust. He might be able to, um, like, stick around a bit longer. I think at the end of the day, it's, like, still, like, where's he really going with the heroes? But also, it's like, he doesn't really have a place in the villains either, so it's like, he's kind of fucked either way. Um, got a new job, so you shouldn't stay on stream too long? Well, that's a shame. Well, I mean, I guess good... Good on you for getting a new job, but uh, a shame you can't stay around. Um, might actually stick around for a bit tonight. Oh, that's cool. I have to be up at 5 a.m. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that kind of sucks. Stevie King, I mean, did Stevie do anything this episode? I don't think he got a confessional this entire episode, right? Um... I, I w am interested, though, in the fact that, like, so when they find out that Simon's idol is fake, what are they going to do at that point? Um, like, are they going to be, like, thinking that he betrayed them and gave them a fake idol? Or, or are they going to be thinking, oh, just Simon's an idiot? Um, all right, my favorite scene in the game. Tell me something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you yeah, I feel bad for Jordan. I mean, like, obviously, it's like, what stayed your um, like, you should have just played the idol. <laughs> Um, I get why he doesn't in the sense that, like, obviously, like, if they go to tribal what again, you're, you're going to need an idol. I think you should have still played at least Order. one. Like, you know you have Pulse. two idols. Direct. But then at the same time, it's like if you no waste one, one on Jordy and it turns out, like, Liz goes home, nonsense, uh, then, like, you lose both idols Tough and an ally. Like, I guess that's, like, worst that's case scenario. Sensible goal. That piece. Apparently, uh, Challenge Argentina's two episodes oh. per round. Why? That's chaos. terrible. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't mind Jordy back again. I will say, the Jordy's run here went a lot better than I thought it would. Listen to them stamp and shout, all in the name of liberty. Flick going home after playing Simon's fake idols a lot less funny than Simon playing and going home. Yeah, he understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the job and elves who profess to represent it. Um, Liz is like, I I think I have her at number five right now. I still think like her week one's just so bad that. I don't know, but it's like really no one has like that great of an edit. Um, I believe I put Sean at number one right now, though. I think it's Sean then Shawnee, and then it's George. Uh, I believe are my top three. The only difference is that I do not feign affection. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Sean one, Shawnee two, George three, Haley four. Um, Liz five, Jerry six. Jerry went down a spot. That's a shame. Simon, I moved Simon up to seven. I I forgot about that. Where like he was thirteen last um, episode. 
Stevie's at number eight. Uh, Sam is number nine. Matt is number ten. Ben is eleven. Flick is twelve. Nina's thirteen, and David is last. Because who the fuck is David? Uh, and also, I don't know what the fuck just happened. My computer just froze up. So that's great. There we go. Um, wait. Okay. Wait. Uh, I gotta fix this real quick. How'd this get so fucked? <laughs> like, my screen literally went black for, like, a second and then came back and, like, the zoom is just all off. Okay, I think... There we go. I'm, I'm back. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Nina is super close to the David. Yeah, that's too fair. Like, is that even, like, properly shown the show? I mean, like, it comes out of nowhere because, like, both Nina and David aren't on the show. <laughs> um, I will say, it seems like David's playing a really good game. Uh, it's just that he's not there. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's David on this season, surprisingly. Uh, did Maggie you win BB6 because of pro Maggie or anti Yvette votes? Uh, both. Which is usually the case with most people. Um, like April and Jennifer were pro Maggie. Uh, Rachel and Howie were anti Yvette. But then the same thing goes with uh, Yvette. Yvette got anti Ma uh, Maggie votes from Janelle and James. Well, James, I guess, is like kind of both. But um, Janelle was anti Maggie. Hold and a moment. I guess Bo was pro Yvette. But yeah. Out outs, winner pick of 44 is Carolyn. Lost. Uh, I'll say, like, I mean, I can see it to a degree. I just wonder, like, does she have the ability to rein it in? Um, like, if she's like a Marianne, then, like, okay, did not mean to do that. There we go. But yeah, if she can rein it in, then, um, damn, maybe she can win. But I, I just feel like there's so much, like, Nora in her that, I don't know. I will wait here then. I'll say I'm still listening to the oh, RJP sorry, interviews. Like I'm up to Josh hand, right now. Um, which, yeah, I mean, like, really, my opinion on a lot of these people haven't really changed that much. I feel like I'm probably higher on Franny after her interview, but like not to like a ridiculous degree. But uh, I think she could do very well, though. Um, I don't talks one mile per hour. Well, that's not right. I've literally never watched an uh, Idol Out video. <laughs> like, I think I've seen, like, the first, like, 10 seconds of one of his videos, but I, I like, haven't seen anything else. Uh, oh, fuck. Wait, am I not going to get detected? Oh, I was going to say, like, that, like, never happens. Danny's your winner pick? Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, like, fine on Danny. Definitely not my like winner pick or anything, but like, I, don't know, I think he like. To be honest, like I was expecting like Tony Velacho's energy from him, and that's not really the energy he gives off uh, at all. So, I don't know. I... okay. But I don't know. I, I think he's definitely gonna make it far. Like I'll be, I'll be shocked if Danny goes home early. Josh, on the other hand, I think I was 100% right about Josh. Uh, I do not see Josh doing well. <laughs> uh, I see a lot of Jeremy Crawford vibes. But I, I find it so funny that, like, he doesn't even know... Like, so, um, like, when asked about, like, your favorite Survivor moment and everything, um, like, he doesn't remember Eric Reichenbach's name. Uh, that was something he also... Um, so it turns out, like, in his bio, he says his favorite player is Avi. Um, so I think, like, everyone was, like, I mean, I think, like, the assumption was, like, oh, shit, he's referencing Survivor New Zealand. Um, turns out he meant Davey. <laughs> like, he didn't know Davey's name. And that is his favorite player. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know about this guy. He is, like, supposedly he's a fan. But it's like, like, how are you, like, talking about Davey's your favorite player, but, like, not even know his name? Yeah, 100,000 channel points. 
That's a thing. Uh, if Gary wasn't voted out, would he be number one on a global BB runner up ranking? No. Well, I mean, yeah, well, I, mean, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Like, his game's, like, not even that, like, the thing is, like, his game is just so radically different if he isn't voted out. Um, like, just a radically different game, considering he misses out, what, three rounds of gameplay? Follow me. Uh, seven. Like, he gets voted out final eight. This is seven, six, five, and then comes back for five. So yeah, th he essentially misses out on four, like actual, guys. like surviving four you rounds of gameplay. Not the savage. He is my son. <laughs> this very player was obvious from New Zealand. You question you? me more, but yeah, but still, it's still funny that he doesn't know, like Davy's name. Um... I, Shawnee's definitely top 10 AU player. Um, I think we'll have to see like how the season like finishes out to solidify on top 5. I think the same thing goes with George, too. But, yeah, they're definitely... Uh, I think they'll definitely end up top 10 at this point. Oh, is it BB Quebec? It's season 3? I thought it was only season 2. But realistically, yeah, I probably won't watch it. <laughs> uh, I mean, Jordy's number one so far. I mean, like, I don't know what you're expecting. Like, outside, like, I, it's like kind of obvious to me that Jordy would be number one of the players booted so far. But like, there's obviously still Slots. what 14 more Maybe players much. in the game. So, um, finish BB4 rewatch and it's decent. Yeah, I like BB4 for on you, the rewatch. Discovering my existence as you have. New Zealand, Nicaragua pre-merge. I'm not that great. Right? We're wondered. talking about like, what you know, either way, like. yeah. I and mean, the entire season is great. Together. Um, How is she, by the way? Probably what the, mm, what? Is it the merge? I guess like the solo vote is like the peak, I'm right? Sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. Watch both Battle the Sexes this weekend. <laughs> well, that was something. Um, Charles Lee is responsible. Honest, I barely remember Battle the Sexes order. one at this point. And you're sorry. It's impossible. Like I remember, like little I moments no here and there. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor. But I'm too afraid. That's actually like most early challenge seasons at this point. And I'm all Just right. a lot of it has like not really stuck to my mind. Oh, is that a thing? Traders New Zealand. Benjamin Church. Oh, I'm gonna watch Stand Traders New Zealand. Probably will. Abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal like, gain. Dying to watch a Traders New Zealand season. Um, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff that does not age well on PB4. Um, in my retrospective. Um, Church and the cargo are long gone. And like, also, it's funny because like, there's a lot of things that like didn't even make air that don't air well either. Um, actually, too far, they didn't like. They didn't, We've like, chosen to stand do well with the, the time. <laughs> like, I mean, like June and Allison were hated for a reason. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream, Canada. Canada. I wouldn't be shocked. But a dream is all it ever was. I mean, like, every other English language uh, country like seems to have one at this point. I guess we Best need traders of South Africa. Down, Those two, get them! So, yeah, I mean, why Don't not make escape. a Canadian version? Get it! The Indian too! No, I think BB4, like, Take there's a lot more down. talk about, like... Um... That one. And he's half free. I mean, there is definitely talk about stuff that has an age, well. But it's not, like, most the of it. Actually, I guess it is, like, Amazon in the sense that, like, Amazon, I still talk about Rob's gameplay and everything. Um, so... Oh, cool, I died. Um, yeah, I, w I would say, actually, yeah, it's probably similar. It's actually gonna be, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be longer. Um, but yeah. We've chosen oh, thank you, Credit Beats, for 10 month resub. It's Britain who will win this war. Update odds on BB Can 1 being all stars. Um, I would say I'm like probably slightly up from when I said 1%. <laughs> 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 uh, I will say 10%. <laughs> it was a nice dream but still you not but a dream likely. Possible, but not, but not likely. Look at the half breed fight like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys.
Yeah, and like one of the questions early on is also is like, um, are there any virgins in the house and stuff like that? It's like, like it is funny like how much like uh, old school Big Brother like cared about sex and everything, like how much um, like in the like, David and Amanda scene is just like so hyped up on the show, and it's like such a like a nothing scene in the modern day. It's like people have sex in the Big Brother house all the fucking time. Um, that one, and he's half free. Ring for Helen? Yeah, I, I actually really like Helen. Where um, is Church? I'll tell you. Yeah, I think she has uh, Erica want. upside. But, like Jordy's plan? Like yes and no. I mean, it's a very risky plan. Obviously, it didn't work Not out. My word. Um, I think I would have taken the safe route personally. Like I would have used both idols personally, but it's like I get why he doesn't. I just do, but what I actually would have done, I, I wouldn't even, I like, ask for Shawnee's idol yet. I think what I would have done is, like, me personally is... Actually, I don't know, though, because I guess you need both idols to try to convince them to flip, though, don't you? Jo yeah, Jordy is the first return he voted out, which is interesting. Haley and Nina are idiots for not flipping a Sean. I don't necessarily agree. Especially Nina. Um, Haley, uh, maybe, yeah. Um, I was, uh, I did find it interesting that, um, who, okay, I was not looking at the screen. Uh, I find it interesting that Sean, when he details his alliance to Simon, he mentions everyone but Haley. <laughs> Which I think does show you that Haley's kind of on the bottom of the pecking order. Even though Haley seems to, like, Haley and Sean seem to have like a working relationship. Now is not the time for sightseeing. But interesting that they uh they chose Sam though to put votes on. So close yet so far. Which is fair. Like it, it probably is like the correct the choice from like the hero's point of view of like if you're gonna lose someone or like if you're gonna like uh risk someone, probably Sam is one of those better people to risk. Um, in the sense that, like, if he gets saved, like he did here, it's like, no, is Sam really flipping? Like, probably not. Uh, what is this Kingdom Hearts video? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I, I don't know if Haley should want Sean <laughs> raking every day in, uh, in 358 over two days. That's kind of overboard, isn't it? Um... <laughs> How long is this video? I want to see how long it is. Uh, the watch an ad. Okay, cool. There's another ad. Well, that's great. Um, I, I think Haley should want like David out, or want like to be like Sam isn't a bad option for Haley. Like I don't think Haley should want Sean out, uh, as again she seems to have a working relationship with Sean. Two hours and 33 right. minutes for fucking ranking of the days in three by day over two days. Okay. No, uh, that's that. funny. No way of what's on the other side. I still can't believe I have to fucking edit my last of this video. That's going to take so long. Uh, I will say editing has gone pretty well recently. I'm actually like genuinely surprised how quickly I've been able to edit um, some of these videos. Where since the last time I streamed... Um... I have edited, if I can find the list. So I finished editing the challenge video, obviously, which came out. Um, which, by the way, uh, well, I guess I'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, Church finished editing days. that. I finished editing the Genius quickly, Retrospective, the BB Can 1 Player Ranking, when you're ready. and the um, ranking of every, every first HOA train in Big Brother. That's all while, like, working three of the four days, and then also, like, Friday I was busy for, like, half the day. Um, so I'm kind of surprised I was actually able to get that much done, but cool, I guess. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to start Last of Us, and then we got Mid-Season Power Ranking for Australian Survivor on Tuesday. Um, and hopefully I can get back to editing the other videos. I want to edit this, like, I'm going to be done with, uh, this batch of videos already, but I just know Last of Us is going to take, like, two weeks, Shall probably, we? to make that video. Um... How many good Big Brother Canada players are good? I would say probably like 30, 40 maybe. 
maybe like a fourth of the players or so. Which I think is probably the case with like all the shows. Oh, Marvin got evicted? Ah. Oh. Now I can't. Now I have no interest in watching uh, Big Brother Titans. That seventeenth place. That's kind of sad. Um, I told you uh, do I think that there are any challenge seasons that will progressively get better? Like in terms of what? In terms of like over time, or or like you mean like at, like it starts off slow and then gets better, or like how do you how exactly do you mean? Well, the bar's um, not been set very high now, has it? Yeah, I, uh, William is forty. Think, I would Father. maybe bump William up. I'm not sure. Uh, I would I would classify William as probably a good player. Um, and it's still full like. Like, still has a decent amount of flaws, but, like, still, I would say a good player. Um, again, but, like, Dylan was 47, right? And, like, I would not consider Dylan a good player. <laughs> um, and again, Dylan should not have been that high, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, finish last episode was good, yeah. Again, I, ho I hope I like it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm worried about how long the last of us video is going to be. The last of us... The, uh, by the way, I'm getting like upset. Last of Us uh, TV show video. Where like I I feel like I I can't go welcome. like like beat by beat, right? Like I mean right. I'm definitely like I not gonna up. spend Thank that God. much time talking about um, the Last of Us TV Pretty show and like all my like look, minor so. issues with it, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, I'm I'm interested in um, actually something I want to see. I just want to see how far it, it gets. Like, do we abandoned. get to university? Like, I was thinking they were going to cut university entirely, but I believe there is a shot of university. Um, so, uh, let's see. I just want to see a quick. Um, is there a summary yet? At least for I don't really care about spoilers. No, there's no sport. Oh, God, there's nothing yet. Now, how far did it get? Um, next episode should be the big winner episode. I believe next episode's going to be Left Behind, right? Like, I mean, it's going to be winner and Left Behind, like, kind of cutting back and forth, I believe. Yeah, we're going to get Left Behind. The, I mean, the episode's name is Left Behind, so it's like, I would, I would assume it's Left Behind. Um, are we getting Nylum tomorrow? Possibly. Uh, I doubt they would Nylum the episode after that. Considering I, I, we should be merging on, like next sun, sun uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Pff, fuck me. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would be surprised if they do an on limb right before the merge. Is Survivor SA canceled? I haven't heard anything, but I haven't been keeping up the last day or so. If it, if it is, like, I'm kind of fine with it. If I'm. I'll, like, I, I mean, I really like the Survivor SA, but it's also, like, I think there's, like, enough shows out right now to where, like, I don't need Survivor SA in, uh, in my life, really. Which um, challenge season, so I think it better from the start to fit. Okay, so you mean, like, within the season? So, I would say, like, maybe Vendetta's? Is one that comes to mind where like I think Vendetta is like is really great towards the end, but I feel like the beginning is kind of just like fine. Um, we need more speed. Okay, cool. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, that's like the one that's like stands out right away. I don't know where. Like to, to be honest, I don't remember challenge seasons well enough at this point. Like, I remember, like, my overall opinion on them, but I don't remember, like, well enough to say, like, okay, this part of the season was good, this part of the season was bad. Um, given the way you sail. X is 2. I feel like X is 2 was, like, solid the entire time. I don't know, I guess the beginning is kind of like a slaughtering of the are you to one people, right? Well, I don't know, I still think, like, the entire season's pretty good. Um, Derek F1 runner up ranking, I'm in very low, possibly the bottom. What are the choice have we? Those rocks would crush us. 
The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Spies Tory Dio. I don't like Tory Dio either, but I don't like have like actual hatred uh, for her. I just don't think she's interesting TV. I don't like. I find her like personality kind of just annoying. Oh, I need to do the chain shot, right? Is using the ambush she says, look, you can kiss. Uh, either way, that's Dre, right? I should rewatch that scene not too long ago. Like a week ago or so. It was when uh, I watched the Kevin and Bruno stream because they mentioned it on there. Or was it? No, I, I think it was when I watched Pummel Party when they were playing Pummel Party. I think that's where he mentioned it. Edgic frontrunner for Heroes of Villains? I don't know. Do not let and super Edgic isn't really a thing with Australian Survivor. It's mostly just like, because it's not like Survivor US where like, there's like details the entire way through that you have to like, um, pay attention to to like, figure out like the season storyline. There really isn't that with Australian Survivor. With Australian Survivor it's like, oh, this person's blatantly being shown to us as a potential winner. Um... But, like, this season hasn't really been doing that. So it's like, I don't really think there is, like, a super solid pick. Um, like, I think Shawnee and Sean seem like the likely uh, people right now, but we'll see. Uh, Rewatch Challenge Australia is definitely a challenge. She's um, I like Australia. Oh, I I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to be destroying the other ships. <laughs> um, I, I will say, like, a lot of the season, like, isn't, like, super fresh in my mind, but I at least remember, like, the overall, like, storylines of, uh, like, Grant and Emily and Co. versus, uh, the Bachelor people, that sort of thing. And Troy being, like, a uh, underdog. I would say global um, or world championship, that's what we're calling it now, right? Uh, they've been doing like previews for that, right? Where they've had uh, like clips of the players, like preseason interviews and stuff, so that's something. But, uh... but Actually, I didn't realize this. I believe world championship starts the same day as BB Can, doesn't it? Like, that's something I. Uh... <laughs> kind of forgot about like it just like never clicked in my mind until like uh the other day that oh shit those two shows start the exact same day my new one's obviously on paramount plus so it's like technically that's wait i died <laughs> okay cool so like technically that's in the morning while um or like i can watch it in the morning while bb cam will be at night oh which by the way i i think um i haven't talked about this yet but i think i'm gonna pick watching uh, Survivor Michigan over watching BB Can the night of uh, is where I'm because like this is the thing that's kind of annoying is that so now Wednesdays starting from the 8th we'll be having Survivor US um, Survivor Michigan and BB Can all airing the same day um, where I believe Survivor Michigan will be on immediately after Survivor US, but then in the premieres two hours for Survivor. So it'll overlap there. Um, and also overlap with the BB Can episode. I think with the Wednesday BB Can episode, I think I can wait till the next day realistically, because like by that point, like we know the feeds and everything. I don't think I can for the premiere though. I think I'll watch the premiere live. But I think most other weeks, I'll probably prioritize Survivor Michigan. I need to get um, who knows what madness my father intends. So, yeah. But, like, I probably want the week of the BB Can premiere, though. Actually, when's the Marvel Michigan end? I never actually thought about that. Where are we at right now? We're at... So this week will be episode 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. April 5th? I think that's the day that my Australian Survivor review is supposed to be coming out. <laughs> At least if the schedule changes, like I'm thinking it will. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a month 
of the shows overlapping, so that's kind of annoying. But again, that's my current plan. Yeah, I'll probably prioritize Michigan. Um, I think Queen Liz is a top 10 player. I mean, like, no? Not yet. If she does well moving forward, maybe, but like, like she's whatever right now. <laughs> she's fine. We really haven't seen her do that much like on her own. And the point that we have, which is this episode, she lost her closest ally and one of her idols. So. That, that would be funny if, like, BB Can literally just brought back Josh. <laughs> like, that's the only person. Uh... Imagine if BB Can, like, only brought back Kevin. Like, imagine how fucked he would be. <laughs> But also, like, actually, would he? Like, I think actually that would be kind of interesting. Like, if the sh if a show had like one of the most dominant winners of all time, um, or like one of the most impressive wins of all time, and then like the next season they come back as the only returnee, uh, I think that would be kind of an interesting concept to see. I mean, like, obviously, like more than likely, it just leads to that person being the first boot or something. But I don't know. I think it could be interesting. I ironically, think Stevie can win. Yeah, Stevie can win. I just don't think it's like what the most likely outcome. Cargo. Because I think if he were to win, I think we'd be seeing him a lot more often. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's out of the wrong possibility that they would bring back Julie. Let me tell you, working my way like I think Julie's more likely than like traps. a couple other. Like I mean, I think it's more likely Someone than anyway. Josh from BB Can Nine. No. Um, more likely than. Uh, like how more from that season? We came here for a reason. More likely than probably Austin, to be honest. Probably more likely than I mean Latoya because Latoya is pregnant, right? Who thinks next boot for AU? How we're talking about? Where are the supplies you stole? Um, let's see. Where are we at on the two tribes? So on. The heroes, it's either Matt, Flick, or Ben, right? Um, I feel like this episode focused more on Ben and showed him in a negative light to where, like, I think he's probably a likely boot. I ask again. If they go to what tribal again. <laughs> on the island, the but then island. again, like, it doesn't really make sense, like, logically, oh, wait, why they would go for Ben no over, like, Flick or Matt. But, um,. Actually, I guess it kind of no, is, like, in the sense that, like, uh, I guess if they're talking about how they want to be Those double agents, I guess that's better than Ben, who, like, isn't really offering anything. Who fight and um, die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> the not necessarily. When he says he has two hostages, he, that just means that he knows that the other side cares about Matt and Flick. Not that he thinks he has Ben. I don't think he thinks he has Ben at all. I just think he knows that the other tribe doesn't. The other side doesn't care about Ben. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. Yeah, like I think it's yeah. Like why? Why do you only say two heroes hostage? I think because he knows they don't give a shit about Ben. Favorite genre of porn. Do you truly think? Yeah, I'm not gonna answer that. Um. Idea no list. Right. Oh, that's something I, I um I, I will say the other day, um I got distracted with like uh who was it? There was something like some podcast I was listening to that mentioned like naming every survivor player. So I said, "Fuck it, let's do a let's do a, a sporkle quiz um on every survivor player." And um so there's a list of like every player from seasons one through twenty, every player from twenty one to forty. I got all of them. So I'm still in that, like, uh, I'm still, like, at that level where I can name every Survivor player. Um, so at least that isn't gone yet. <laughs> it's so much hope for Ben. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I'm too proud. I think my opinion of Ben, like, faded by the time we got to the start of the season. Where I, so I didn't realize Ben was, like, so much smaller than the other guys. Like, I assumed he would, like, kind of, like... Like, I obviously, like, assumed, okay, he's probably, like, nerdier or whatever than, like, David. Um, 
and like Sean, but like I, I didn't think he was a small guy. I didn't realize like he's a smaller guy. Uh, which if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have been as uh, high on him. Better player between Will and Ben in Michigan, Will for sure. I don't even think it's really a question. I have been reunited. Yeah, everyone except for Eve. But I, I will say, um, so the last person. Uh, the last person for the 1 through 20 that I got was Willard. And the last person I got from the 21 to 41 was Papa Bear. Which I couldn't believe I forgot Papa Bear for most of the most of the time. But he had to be the last person. He <laughs> was my winner pick? It was Sharni. She's already gone and she was a fucking disappointment. Um, so, yeah, that's nothing. What if someone like me? Excited to see Ben Dree bring him back on the challenge? No, I'm not. I'm I'm really not. <laughs> it's like uh to be fair, I'm not like dreading it either. It's like whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely not like excited to see Ben. Uh who's the best uh, Michigan player to never win? And how was Martinique? Is it Sarah Axe? Um, Achilles, I... It's probably I Sarah Axe. Maybe Shannon. Say the things I did. In my opinion, like too far, uh, my opinion of Sarah Axe actually went down on the rewatch, but I still think it's probably Sarah Axe. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weak. Some of you had uh, Sharni high in the power ranking. Imagine um, what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why yeah, like Sharni, like I, 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 I think she just turned out to be like father? really different from what I was expecting. Where like I expect her to be like so like loyal based, I guess. Like I don't know. Where it's like I, and to for, I, guess I thought she would, would be a fan. I, I don't think she is. Uh, at this Faith point, but like, yeah, I, I th at the time, I definitely was thinking, like, okay, I think she's a fan. But yeah, she's definitely Even didn't really bring much to the table. More together than we do alone. When I think merch starts, I mean, typically it starts episode 13. I assume you're off so, Sunday. Yes. But, we'll I ride see. New York to see what might be done. Um, I got all those people pretty quick. Actually, I believe, who is the person? Jeff Wilson. I, I kind of stumbled for a second. Like, I remembered, like, who he was. I just, like, forgot his name for a second. Um, yeah, I was finding out Willard was the last person. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shawnee's basically a rogue without the rogue in it, pretty much. I, I literally just answered when do I think merge starts. Fiji women are forgettable. I mean, to me, they're so forgettable that, like, I remember them. Rita, I believe, was the last one that I got, though. Um, but, like, Erica is, like, to me, the person who I think of as the most forgettable survivor player. So because of that, like, it makes me remember Erica. Um, then obviously like Jessica the Ben, uh, like Sylvia is like kind of like okay, bordering unforgettable. Um, but yeah, Rita was the one that stumbled me for a second. Oh yeah, Liliana is also one that like I remember for being like forgettable, so that makes her kind of memorable. <laughs> Tripped up the spelling. Um, so like the thing is that you only need first name. Uh, on this, but actually, there were some that like I thought I had them, but it turns out they're like their name was is spelt differently uh, than like a certain other. Or there were like points where like okay, I'm trying to type in like um, uh, what's a name? Like Kelly. Like I would try to type in Kelly, but then like Kel is on the list, so it would put in Kel. Um, but then like. Uh, like I would like I would just like forget that okay I tried to put in Kelly earlier but I didn't like go through because it took Kel instead. And there's like kind of annoyances like that. Flicka was Flicka was easy because like you put Jessica in that. 
goes up. Because her name is Jessica. <laughs> Uh, I, I raised this before. I think Rogue might be the worst player of all time. Where am I going? Why am I even? Wait, yeah, why am I doing this? I just realized why am I running through the frontier for like no reason? Jacqueline's name. I feel like I didn't mess up that one. Stephanie uh, from Cook Islands. I know she spelled her name differently, but I don't remember exactly how. Um, that also, Stephanie LaGrosa spells her name differently from normal Stephanie, but I knew, I knew that one, though. At least her name's like, Ste like Steven, and then I-E. Where, like, most Stephanies have an A instead of an E at the end. Or, like, for the, whatever, well, like, towards the end. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that's kind of an app comparison of, like, the Spice Girls being, uh, kind of like, yeah, Russell, Parvati, and Danielle. What ride I rookie who I want to see on, uh, instead of Casey on World Championship? These men have been found oh. guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crime like, why would it have to be a ride or die rookie? <laughs> uh, who are even the rookies this season? Like, were any of them that notable? Not really, right? Oh, I guess Olivia and Horacio, right? Um, so I guess Olivia, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> not, like, um, none of them, really. But that's the thing I forgot about. Um, so the challenge review, I do find it funny how, like, I completely forgot to talk about how Anissa got injured in the final. Um, and, like, I, like uh, that's something I didn't realize until after I uploaded it. And I just, like, said, you know, fuck, I'm not going to bother, like, adding this. But, like, I just, like, completely forgot to talk about how, like, Anissa was, like, really injured by the end of the the balls-in elimination. If we're to put an end to this. I tried. Instead, I, like, I talk about her, like, kind of in a dickish way where I'm, like, oh, yeah, she got, like, I, I was, like, kind of dimissive of her, I guess. But, um... But yeah, I kind of forgot to so talk about that, but whatever, who cares? Well uh, Dan Jolly quit? Probably not, but I don't know. What do you intend? I don't look at her well, as a quit. At the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Sean, um, yeah, Sean's number one right now. Your contact said orders from above. Uh, I like Olivia. I mean, she's not like my favorite player Top ever or anything, Loyalist but commanders. um, she's fine. Like, I think her and Horacio are like should be guaranteed people to come back. Nani going for Nisa's leg was the highlight of the final. I mean, if it is, then that's really sad. <laughs> I still find it so funny. They really dragged out the final of three episodes. Uh, Spice Girls' favorite AU alliance? Uh, I would say definitely up there, right? Now, what other like, AU alliance is even that, like, notable? Like, in that way. I guess you got, like... Like, you have, like, a lot of duos, I feel like. But do you have, like, many, like, actual, like, alliances? Uh, Luke, Sarah, Jericho, Michelle. I mean, yeah, but that's not, like, really, like, I don't know, like, that <laughs> normal of an alliance. Um, it's just, like, a grouping of people. But, I mean, like, I feel like you, like you don't have, like, this, like, branding with them. Meet Trey Alliance? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's my favorite alliance. It's fucking, what was it? Sean, Sam, Matt, and David. Oh, yeah, Champagne Alliance, I guess. Champagne Alliance is what? I mean, it's those people and then... Plus other people, right? Tessa, right? Tessa and, and Peter. Justin Martinez, an underrated player? Probably. He's not a... Still not a great player, but like, yeah, he's probably underrated. Uh, 
Come on. God damn it. Whatever. World Champion Finals expect to be 100 hours. Like, why? How many episodes is World Champion? It's not even that long of a season, right? Isn't it like only like 12 episodes? Better skinny Ryan or Matt Elrod? Like, Matt Elrod. Like, why? Like, who cares about skinny Ryan? <laughs> Uh, how did Michelle convince her tribe to get rid of Ben instead of her? Um, oh, she just painted Ben as like a traitor, right? Uh, the production starting to sour on Josh, or it's coincidence? Uh, no, I think it's just. I think it's coincidence for Ryder Die. Um, like I think Ryder Die is a situation where I think they wanted to pair him up with Casey. Um, but then they realized they didn't have a blood pairing and they wanted a blood pairing, so they said Casey and Kenny for some fucking reason. Uh, and then when you got um, Nani, who could be his partner, then they realized they could get bananas. So they're like, oh, okay, well, fuck, we'll get bananas with Josh. But like I don't, I don't think this is like that, um, Connor, that damning for Josh's returning chances. And in World Championship, it's like, are we really expecting Josh to be on World Championship? Um, we can interrogate them. I mean, there are some like random picks on there, but like I, I still feel like Josh was never even consideration in my eyes for potentially being on World Championship. Uh, I don't know. I might watch the Traders reunion. I'm not like dying to watch it though. Like I don't really care, really. <laughs> but oh. Uh. Ah fuck. And also, I don't have Peacock, so I'm not like. No, it's not the easiest thing to watch. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, okay, this, uh, well, I'm Traders UK starts tomorrow, right? But it's gonna be on Paramount Plus on Friday, right? So, that'll be something. Is it Traders UK? I meant Challenge UK. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, I probably don't want Kenny because he had a real family. I mean, I think they wanted Kenny because they were like, I okay, because I, I think they wanted a blood, uh, pairing, like a actual like uh relatives which is really insane actually that there are no relatives outside of fucking casey and kenny on this cast george and see what i think a maddie from trader's k she's fine she's not like really that notable well, in the grand scheme of things you but go. I, will watch I, I will say the trader's k no, like you do it. hasn't One stuck to my mind that well it's like i, I remember so. wilf um like i remember like Kieran fucking him over. <laughs> um, I remember Tom. That was the magician's name, right? Uh, but, like, outside of that, I don't know. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, who were actually Ryder Dies on this season? Like, uh, that, that is something that I actually, like, consider. Like, like, yeah, obviously Casey and Kenny make, like, at least, like, like, why the fuck are you casting them? But, like, at least they are ride or dies. Like, at least that does make sense. Um, Bananas and Ani, fine. Sure. I guess. Um, I don't know if ride or die is the term I would use for them, but fine. That's fine. Yeah, Amber and Chauncey, that's fine, even though they just start dating, which is weird. But, um, know, if they're at where they are, like, if they were where they're at now, then sure, yeah. Um, who else? <laughs> who else is there? Um, Tommy and Annalise, I guess. I mean, it would have made more sense if it was Tommy and Christy. But, like, Tommy and Annalise, okay, that's, like, fine. They, they were allies in Big Brother. They're friends outside the show. It's like, okay, that's, that's fine. Um... Emmy and Nam, obviously. That's that's the ultimate ride or die pairing. 
Uh, yeah, and he said James Simon would have been, <laughs> but like, uh, but also it's like, why are we casting James Simon? Um, you can't sleep. Well, that move. didn't go well then, go did it? Um, I said move. Yeah, obviously, obviously, in the send Jordan. Um, it's still so funny they even tried to to prop them up as ride or dies. We just have some questions for you. But I love how, like I I just love the Fessy Mariah one. Like that one's the funniest to me, where it's literally like, okay, Fessy wanted to hook up with Mariah. Um, I like based on what it sounds like, she probably said no, and then they're like, okay, well, I guess we'll be friends anyway. Um. But, like, not, and then, like, I just, like, couldn't get an actual friend to go on the, like, for Fessy, it's like, I couldn't get an actual friend to go on the show, so I guess I'll bring Mariah, this random person I try to sleep with. Um. Veronica and Darrell, are they ride or dies? I don't know, I wouldn't consider them really ride or dies. It's like they knew each other. Like, they, uh, they were both on, uh, Road rules. <laughs> they won challenge seasons together, but like they never seemed particularly close, right? I mean, like they were like fine, but not really this like really, really lasting relationship on the challenge. I don't know about. Uh, I'm keeping up with. Uh... Oh yeah, Sam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam and Kayla are right, guys. Um, yeah, I I've been keeping up with uh, with Mariah and Bananas. I assume they're still together. I feel like I probably would have seen something if they broke up but don't know for sure who'd ct be with um ct car maria would be too overpowered right uh who would be ct's ride or die right dump bananas well good for her <laughs> um what are the british uh, who would ct's ride or die be <laughs> To march from Philadelphia. Imagine if they put him with Veronica That's again. That'd be hilarious. New York. Um, They'll double our numbers. Push back the rebels. Man, I feel like Maria is the, is the first person that comes to mind, but Two like, days from now. and that's too strong. June 18. I must yeah. warn Washington. You see? Big T. Oh, yeah. Imagine Big T. Dude, I, I kind of forgot Big T existed. Like, I feel like, uh, like most of the double agents of spies, lies, and allies. Again, it's it's gone at this point. Don't remember it that well. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? I, I don't know if I can have. I don't know. Would I have Rachel at the top? I'll maybe thirteen play Forge. ranking. Um, CT Ashley. I mean, that's good too. But it's also like I don't know, a bit OP. Still, but it's still fine. Um, is he seen Nicole Z? Does he have a relationship with Nicole Z? I thought I hate Rachel. Um, actually, really the opposite. But it's like, I don't think she played well. But I guess the question is, like, did anyone play well? If Car somehow won Brains of Braun, which she'd be below, she'd be below Christy, probably. Wait, where am I going right now? Oh, wait, are we at the fucking, uh... Oh, we're at the worst mission of the fucking game. This is gonna be fun. Um... Or, like, this mission took me, like, a billion times the first time I played the game. What do I think of Dan nominating Memphis at seven? Um, I mean, like, I I get why he does it. Like, I, to him, he's saying that it's like masking their alliance, but also it's to keep up the appearances of sticking with the uh, the Ollie deal. But I also think it's a move that I okay, that's fucking bullshit. They fucking shot me off right away. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I wouldn't have personally done. Oh, I think there's an argument for Rachel Riley being Grace casting choice of all time. Especially for Big Brother. If Frank won BB14, is he lower? I mean, yeah, but like, how the fuck would he win anyway? Like, are we saying he just wins out? Then, like, obviously. 
Means he's essentially just a worse version of Ian. <laughs> Natalie and Jeremy? That would have been cool. I mean, like, Jeremy's never doing it, though. Like, I don't know how you could even get Jeremy to agree to do the challenge. Because then he doesn't even want to do Survivor again, let alone the fucking challenge. But, I don't know, Natalie and... Actually, who would you even get with Natalie? Like, I mean, obviously Natalie and Jeremy's, like, the only pair that makes sense for her, but, like, who would even be another person you would even consider? Especially considering it has to be a guy, right? So, um, or I mean, I guess that's kind of boring, though. Like, uh, like bring a reality TV person. That's something I, I still think we should have just had reality TV people. That's something that still kind of bothers me. Oh, yeah, Tyson, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be a decent one. Yeah, they are close. How many BB winners would play Sam on return? Probably a lot of them. Like, you got, like, I think Xavier will play exactly the same. Obviously, Taylor would play different, I would, like, you would assume. Uh, Cody would probably stay, play the same. Uh, Jackson would play pretty much the same, you would think. Casey would definitely play the same. Um, probably a little bit, I, too far. I think Casey would probably be a bit more, like, aggressive to a degree like i think she'll be out in front more i think it's probably the term to say but um yeah she'll probably play almost the same josh will probably play the same uh nicole always pretty much plays the same at least 18 22 um two i'm too fair 22 is like slightly different in the sense that it's like she's not like in 18 she's a bit more out in front for more of the season uh but she like plays similarly in those two seasons um, yeah, Andy, I think Andy would change things up. Um, I think Steve would probably do the same. Derek might change things up. Um, Ian would probably change things up, but it's also like Ian's never playing again. Rachel will change things up. So I, I think like once you get further back, you probably have like players that will probably change things up. But I think like recent winners would probably all stay the same. I definitely would have voted for Lee over Christy. Uh, it's not even close to me. Is Christy a top 50 Survivor AU player? I don't know. Maybe? Tony and Sarah for Ryder Die 2. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't even know if I want... Like, I don't want Tony really on the challenge. Should be what we know I enjoy any of the non-cast... Like, like, I don't... Like, yeah, Raven was fine. Uh, Raven was, like, solid. It is wrong to compel obedience. I really that's it though, right? Like Chauncey was kind of boring. Mariah was boring. Um, there was one other one, wasn't there? These are just symptoms. What if Mason Race had human juries? Uh, that'd be fucked. Show you the error of your way. You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. And we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? I'm trying to look up the Ryder Die cast real quick. I feel like I'm missing one. Sir. Well, I mean, James Simon would have been, but like Hello, he's, <laughs> didn't make it here? on. Uh, oh, Kenny, British Kenny. Of course. Oh, and Tamara. I forgot about Tamara, too. Uh, so, yeah, the answer's no, <laughs> just Raven. <laughs> um, if we can route them, we'll have finally turned the tide. I think it's going to be fun to see George and Sean. Like, it's going to be fun to see, like, both... Uh, would you like, to know like, we never had that where both tribes are, like, very Same, openly so throwing the challenge. I've always wished that uh, that would have happened. Be so it'd be cool to see that actually oh, happens here. We've been receiving I remember a single thing about Raven. I remember her British. being, like, jealous of Johnny and Narice, which didn't lead to anything, did it? Um, the land by calling for actually, it'll be interesting to see... Um, I, I mean, like, I think, Nar like, well, Nerys isn't, Tell like, yeah, so Nerys isn't, obviously, a, uh, that was another time. The seven years war. a, like, non-reality so person, what but happens to this I think she's probably, like, the, the best casting choice, like, best rookie displaces casting choice of the season, in my things, eyes. In fact, except take responsibility. Enough. So I think Nerys would definitely come back. Wait. Um, my people like, Horacio and Olivia are good. Like, they're likable, no, like, whatever. But, like, no. I, I think Norris is probably the one that feels, you like, the I most, like, challenging. Um, especially if we're talking so about, like, I, I think, like, Norris feels like a casting choice from, like, 
the twenties of the challenge. Sit on this information, or um, I to believe you discovered it now. Like she definitely doesn't feel like the more recent challenge cast Lee's choices. No less a monster, um, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Oh, I would, I would like to see Kylan to come back. If we're talking about like USA and, and I stuff. I will kill you. Oh, we should be getting USA two stuff soon, right? Like that should be next month. All right, this is the fucking bullshit mission. Let's see if I get it for shy. I'm pretty sure I did last time I streamed this. But this is a section that's so fucked because the entire thing you, you have to do the entire. Well, you don't have to, but like it's almost impossible to do thing like not on horseback and fucking. Uh, there's so many things you can get stuck on. I don't know. That's like one of the most frustrating experiences I had. Uh, was like playing, trying to beat the section with a somewhat broken controller. <laughs> Uh, where it literally took me like hours to do this. I'm, yeah, I'm not even looking at the screen right now. Um, uh, at least might have been the best casting choice. Is she? <laughs> in what way? Like, I, I think like she could be on paper. I think like in execution, like, yeah, there's nothing there. Um,. I wouldn't mind Casey and Kenny. Like, on the Amazing Race, I feel like Casey's probably, like, a, a decent cast. Okay, fuck off, game. Um, but I feel like Casey could do, like, could make decent TV on the Amazing Race. But definitely, like, not the challenge. How would I answer this? What is this? Um... Okay, best overall AU, US, UK. Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't know where I rank the season still. Like, AU is obviously the one I watch first, and through that, like, it feels like it's number one to me, but, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of AUs, like, outside of the Alex win, that was her name, right? Um, like, a lot of the seasons, like, started to fade for me. But then, like, same thing UK. I feel like actually, like, US is the one that's, like, freshest on the mind, but then again, it is the most recent also. Um, but it's also like I think technically the worst US so I think that's kind of all over the place best cast I'd probably say US UK AU for cast traders yeah I would say AU US UK that's probably about right um, best twist like what twists were there I don't even remember fucking twist. Um, best host. Um, I don't even know where I stand the hosts either. Like I see everyone like really, really liking the UK host, and I'm kind of like whatever on her. I mean, um, I think my issue, like again, I, I still think like that premiere like really turned me off from her. Where like in the premiere we have her like act like the production wants her to act like super cutthroat and everything, but like. Um, of like pretending like she's eliminating Amos and Kieran right away but then like the rest of the season she's acting like super nice to the players and everything like I always felt like that was just super jarring to me to where it just kind of bothered me from that point forward um and Death Row's dumb I hate Death Row <laughs> like it's just a waste of time uh Like, Death Row is literally just them, like, trying to, uh, save up an elimination. Did Tyler get the call? I believe Tyler did get the call, right? Is the, what we've heard? And he declines? I forgot if it was Ride or Die, if it was USA. It was one to two. I believe, it, yeah, it wasn't USA. It was, yeah, so it had to be Ride or Die. It was definitely a recent season. Alright, this is the part that's fucking bullshit, so let's see uh, how this goes. I believe it is better in the remaster, though, than the OG. So I believe horses are, like, slightly faster, if I remember right. And, of course, I get stuck right away. Um, and, like, the only times I fucked this up in the remaster are when I was playing with a broken controller. <laughs> yeah, this is not bad. Um... 
There we go. We got it. That was fine. There we go. I should make sure the village is safe. Level indie? <laughs> like, um, yeah, I, I think there's like talk about indie being on the challenge, right? I believe that's a spoiler girl thing. That indie is going to be on the challenge. That like Monty is going to be on the challenge. Another one I've been saying. Which, like, I wouldn't be that surprised. Like, I mean, that... Like, I mean, Indy's, like, kind of, like, why? But, like, Monty, I think, for sure. Like, I would be actually surprised if Monty's not on the Challenge USA. Um, but also, Indy's, like, from the most recent Big Brother season, so, like, I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, what's my Harry Potter house? I believe Ravenclaw. But I also don't know much about Harry Potter houses. I believe that's why I got on the uh, the quiz. Yeah, I, I personally don't need to see Indy on anything ever again. <laughs> yeah, I'm... How's my area? It wasn't great when I started, but like I, there hasn't been issues to stream yet, so I'm assuming it's fine. Because like I uh, um. So what was it? I tested it initially, and I was only getting six upload, six megabyte upload, which is like not great, but like workable. Like my upload's normally twelve. Um, yeah, I got six. And I tried it again, and I got four, and that's at the point where like, okay, that's like barely enough. And then like I restarted everything, tested it again, and I got three. So I was like, okay, fuck off. Um, I'm just gonna start stream anyway, and then it's been fine. So we'll see. Um, Dark Harris, I would like to see Nicole Franzel play again personally. Um, I think it, well, actually, I, I should clarify this. I would like to see her play all winners. If it's all winners, I would like to see Nicole Franzel play again. If it's not, then like probably not. I, I don't need to see her play again. But I think all winners would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, that curry boy with well, JLP hosted it's from US and what if I, mean, I don't think it changes anything <laughs> um, I, I would say like there's been a lot of talk about how JLP is better than Jeff Probst and I can see it especially for like modern Jeff Probst where Jeff Probst is like very like kind to the players and everything um, but also it's like I don't know like, it's not like a big big deal in my eyes yeah, I think modern JLP is probably better than modern Propes. But I think Propes at his peak is better than modern JLP. And like, uh, uh, truth be told, like, JLP is probably the best Survivor host. Um, like, nowadays. Which is weird, because like, I remember like, I, I was, I've never been a big JLP fan. Uh, but I do feel like he's really come to his own, like, post-All-Stars in particular. <laughs> Nicole and Ian for Ride or Die? Why not? Are there any hosts that openly mock the player? Um, depends on, like, how openly... Like, how mocking is it? Like, to the point where, like, again, Jeff was, like... In the teens and like early twenties, survivor probably not. I think you see like uh, JLP and Nico, uh, like kind of scold certain players at points. But I think Nico scolds like JLP will make a joke here and there. I, I mean, I personally like Nico. I think my one criticism of him is that I do feel like he tries to interject his own, like, personal opinion at points. But, I don't know. Overall, I do like him. As a host. Uh, I would like to see Rachel Riley being a host. It would be funny. Or even like, uh, get like Brittany, Brittany Haynes as a host, that'd be fun. They should do all winners and throw in David Alexander. Why not? Just, uh, uh, Big Brother, all winners and David Alexander. Yeah, 
Don't you start going to the hunt to? Don't know what does it want duck. Yeah, I, I think like peak probes was probably what like token chain Samoa, like that sort of range. But I mean, you have his like interaction with coach and everything. I think that's like kind of peak probes. He's a Rupert on Challenge USA. Why not? What Jeff Keeley for uh, for Survivor host? I think I'm good. How's Queen Nina doing? She's barely on the show. <laughs> she's still. I, I don't. I think she's only had two episodes where she's had confessionals. Um, wait for my thing to open up. There we go. Uh, three episodes. Okay, she she's had three episodes of confessionals. Each one of those getting one confessional. I mean, David's still at zero. Nina is at three. Matt is at five. Flick is at six. Um, Liz is at eight. Six of them coming from this last episode. Um, and you get George of 48. <laughs> so that's something. Um, yeah, it was one of those confessions about the pizza. Yeah, so. Obviously, she's getting quality content. Yeah, like, she, she was, like, a pretty important part of this episode, too. And, like, she's getting, like, no confessionals. What Survivor Scene had the worst edit? I don't think it's 43. Um, ow, what, what would be the worst edit? I, just, I don't even know what like really sticks out. That's like the worst edit. Maybe like even like 41, I think would be worse than 43 though. He's like, I think the redeeming factor of 43, it's like, while well, the Gabler win is like kind of like questionable, it's like, it's still there. It's like, there definitely were signs and it definitely fits within like the themes of the season. Um, and then also it's like every, like every player got their time to shine on the seasons. Like every player, like, uh, like it was a pretty balanced edit as a whole. And like while there's still like forgettable people like Justine and whatnot, it's like it's still like they tried to give everyone content, uh, which has been the case since like 42 and 43 have both done that. Um, and I feel like that's probably going to be a trend for every US moving forward. But yeah, like I so I wouldn't consider those in the conversation. Like, I think 41 is definitely up there. Um, even though I personally enjoy the like Erica win um, as like a storyline, like I I don't think it's particularly shown well. Um, now, like is Gabon in con conversation? For, like we're set at? I don't even know. Edge of Extinction, yeah, that's probably a good actually. Now I think about it, it, it probably is Edge of Extinction. Edge of Extinction or Game Changers, probably. Oh, would it be Ghost Island? Like, I don't know if Ghost Island's the worst edit. It is bad. Like, for sure it is bad. But, like, I think, like, Edge of Extinction is worse, at least. Where, like, I think the issue... Like, the thing with Ghost Island is that even though, like... Um, like, there's so many, like, no-names on that season. It's like, one, it's like, they were boring anyway. Uh, and then two, it's like, uh, I feel like we at least knew what was happening, though. Where, like, I think there's a lot of points in, like, Game Changers and Edge of Extinction. Um, oh, is there another season like that? But, you know, there's, like, seasons like that where, like, you don't really even know what's going on and why, like, things are happening. Oh, yeah, Where's at War, I think you can also debate that, too. Um... Because I think, like, Winners at War, I, even though I still personally like Winners at War, um... Wait, where did... did wait, did he not die? Okay, well, that's kind of bullshit. I should, where am I going again? Okay, we're at least on the right map. 
Um, but yeah, like, while I personally enjoy Winners at War at this point, like, its editing is definitely not its, like, strong suit. Or, like, there's a lot of points in that season where it's, like, it doesn't, like, they don't fully explain a lot of things. Redemption Island? I wouldn't say Redemption Island would be up there for me personally. Because, like, for me, the interesting thing about Redemption Island is how much it focuses on Rob. And to me, that is, like, one of the biggest highlights of it. Um, where it's, like, Redemption Island is a season where, like, you can essentially see the ins and outs of Buster Rob's game. Like, it's essentially a season that can teach you how to play Survivor. Um, okay, there we go. Um, and I feel like because that, like, it kind of, like, stands out to me, um, as, like, a major thing that, like, sets that season apart. Yeah, Angela got the same amount of confessions as Jacob. That is a thing. <laughs> uh, which Survivor season has the biggest distortion from reality to edited show? Um, you know, 41 would be up there. At least in terms of Erica. I guess, like, everything else is kind of, like... Actually, no, because, like, people thought Xander was going to win, right? See, so, yeah, I guess 41 would definitely be up there, right? After that, I'm not entirely sure what the next answer would be, really. Like, would Game Changers be up there? Like, Game Changers is one where, like, they, uh, they like, tone down Sarah's edit, but, like, not necessarily in a... I don't think it's necessarily to where it's, like, completely inaccurate. It's just, like, omitting things, I feel like. Fiji? In what way would it be Fiji? Your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Like, okay, well, actually, now I think about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely, like, omitted a lot, right? Um, where, like, the, um, the, what's it called? Explorers versus Builders thing wasn't even on the show, right? Where is Charles Lee? But then again, like, I think by the time the merge, like, it doesn't matter as much or it's like you see these sides like by the time like we know the sides like it doesn't really matter as much but yeah it's definitely something that they omitted i will say like probably the thing that matters more is the all black alliance um where like that's something i didn't even know until like what like 2020 or so was that like supposedly like earl cassandra yao man anthony and uh erica had a agreement from like the very the beginning of the game to have a black person win. There is nothing they will not do to I think that's close. probably more important, bon chance, mon ami. To, especially to the end game. Least favorite RGP host? Uh, yeah, Dave Bloomberg would probably be somewhat up there. Uh, Never was a big fan of uh, Mari either. Push these back like the rest of them, like I feel like I haven't listened to the ones I don't like recently. And so I feel like a lot of the ones I don't like come from like Big Brother, right? And that's why because we haven't had Big Brother in a while. Because like the podcast I've been listening to recently, it's like a lot of Rob. You got um, was it Rob, uh, Mike Bloom, Shannon Gus. Um, and well, like, I, I don't agree with, like, Sharon Gus's all the time and that sort of thing. It's like, I, I still, like, like her as a, like, podcast presence. Um, and Taryn, uh, I like... Uh, I like Maggie. Maggie Morgan we're talking about. Um, I like Maggie because, like, I feel like, even though there are points that I, like, I don't agree with Maggie, I at least, like, understand where she's coming from. Where, like, I feel like with Mari, to me, it's just, it, like, it's complete nonsense. To me like i think like mari's like funny to me because like she gets called out for her own like like being extremely biased like within her own podcast or like i remember like the circle one was like so funny I mean, circle season three uk where like she was just defending like every little thing manrika was doing um like taryn had to like call her out of like you're, you're not making sense essentially <laughs> right now um uh, Chantel's kind of, like, to me, is, like, I think it's kind of similar to the Maggie thing, like, where, like, I, I can see it, but also I think, like, Chantel, like, at least admits when she's biased. Um. 
so like I don't mind it as much. Um, I think Asia is one that I'm kind of like starting to not like as much. Where like I remember I really liked Asia when she started. Um, when like she first like uh, when was this back in like what BP two? Is that when she? First? Anyway, like when she first like uh, started of RGP, I thought she was like really good. But I feel like recently she's really just turned into like like being extremely biased. Like, at the point where, like, again, she was, like, talking about how, like, Josh and Betty should win BB Can 10 and, like, all this stuff. Um, and it was, like, devastating when Josh didn't win against Kevin and stuff. It's like, okay. That should slow them down. Wish Tiffany would hop up. Yeah, I find it funny that Tiffany's, like, on the winner circle for some reason. It's like, why is Tiffany, like, super close to Derek and Cody? Like, that just feels so weird to me. I, I already talked about the George and Shawnee throwing the challenge. Like, I, I don't know why you keep on asking about it, but I, I literally already talked about it. We'll push these rank tri- We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Um, I think from you, AU, I thought the first two weeks were very meh. Um, and then, obviously, episode seven is an all-time great episode. Um, and episode nine was good. I think episode ten here has been really, really good, too. So it's like... It's starting to rebound a bit. Um, for me, I still wouldn't, like... It's not my favorite season in the world or anything. Um, and the funny thing is that I actually, like, care so much more about what's going to happen with Survivor Michigan than I do about Australian Survivor. Um, but, I don't know. It, it, it's had a good stretch of episodes. Okay, cool. But I'm at the point where, like, I'm not really, like, I don't really care what happens on Australian Survivor. It's like, yeah, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know, I, like, I don't really have, like, um, I'm not that invested in this season, personally. Or it's like, okay, yeah, like, George getting to the end, that'll be cool. Um, like, obviously, it's like, Shani and Liz and George, like, that group's, like, kind of likable. Um... It's it'll, it'll be interesting to see what Sean's able to do, but like I don't know, as a whole, it's like whatever. <laughs> I, I, like if Shawnee was the next boot, well, it's like okay, friend. yeah, fine. I've saved many lives like, today. Doesn't really like, and it, or George, it's like Connor. Yeah, that sucks, but Charles I'm not like devastated or anything. You forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. Is Daniel Durst in the most toxic I'm sure creature, he probably. And spin a tail saying uh, that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man. Or do I love AU just like I mean, like I like it more than dislike it, but um, Lee was acting most I think for me, it's like when watching. I will investigate these allegations. I, I, I think I again, I'm just more invested in Survivor past. Michigan All Stars right now than I am in Australian Survivor. This must which be done funny. <laughs> else we're no better than um, those we oppose. Never mind Which, by the way, I will say also, this is something I've been thinking about with Survivor Michigan. Um, you to spare Lee's life, are we getting a Leia win? Take it. <laughs> like, I think that's something, like, it never really Enjoy clicked with me until, like, I was watching, um... It will be the last I deliver you. What was I watching? I forgot what I was watching now. Um, but, like, I, I kind of thought about it for uh, a bit, and I was like, like, because, like, the editor, Ian, is, like, friends of Cooper and Leia, and has talked about how, like, this is a story he needs to tell, and that's why... He wa like he's been like editing the show up to this point is because he wanted to like be the one to edit All Stars. Like, is this the season of Leia cutting Cooper? Is that what this is leading up to? The thing is, I don't think negative content means anything in Survivor Michigan. Um, like, if you listen to Ian talk about his editing process, like he doesn't Desmond. care um, about how he portrays the winner. Like, I don't think there is an actual Where? winner edit. Italy. In Survivor Who's Michigan. Holding you? Um, you waiting for? Let's go. There's more. But, like, because, like, I think the thing is, like, to him, he cares more about showing what actually happened than he cares about, like, showing the winner in a positive light. Hello again, Mr. Miles. And I, I feel like with Leia, and again, like, people are, like, Miles hating Leia at this point. But if Leia eventually, like, ends up cutting Cooper, um... 
Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father like, to you. No wouldn't that be the story that, like, Ian would have to tell? Like, wouldn't that be the story that would make sense for why, um, like, all stars be talk being talked about in such high regard? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like that's something that I'm thinking of as a possibility at this point. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to Will this be voted out? No, because she has an idol. Part of their plan all along. Like, unless she's really an idiot, then... See it all burned no. <laughs> then they um... Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about Sean's winning for you? Process. I mean, he could. He's de like, again, I, I have him number one right now. What he wants. But it's definitely not as solid as... Again, it's definitely not, like, Mark, where, like, I knew from episode one that Mark was going to win. Um, Knowing but, yeah, he could. Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to... Save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Was Mallory's winning story? There isn't one, much of one. <laughs> That's the point. Um, or again, like I, I think the entire thing is that like there isn't much to Mallory's winning story, and that's why she's edited the way she is because there's not that much there. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. Or it's like Mallory is one that like she doesn't necessarily get that much negative content, but she just doesn't get much content. And that's because I think in reality there was not much content to give her. Hand over your weapons and like, I, I think with the thing with like hey, Robert Michigan is that I don't think there's the a office. point where they go out of their way to show their players in a positive light. I just think it just so happened that, again, you have like Dale as a winner. It's like, there's not much that you can really do there, Dale. Like, uh, it's like, what, like, what are you going to show negatively about Dale who like seemed to completely run the entire game and everyone just adored him? Uh, outside of Nate. <laughs> um, and with Dylan, like, you do have people talking about Dil how Dylan's not playing the game and how he's, like, a nobody uh, throughout that season. And Mallory, you also have people like complaining about how they hate that she doesn't know the game and that sort of thing. And in like season one, I don't think you can include because it's a completely different editor anyway. Where's my father? Fuck, we're gonna finish this game pretty quick, aren't we? Yeah, we only have like an hour left. Actually, should I start AC4 tonight? If I do finish this early? No. Watching, uh, Brains vs. Brawn, I'm assuming? Currently on episode 11. No, I mean, Brains vs. Brawn's a pretty popular... I mean, like, it's, a, it's I think it's a mixed bag uh, of a season, where, like, I personally like it. Uh, I think I rank it number three, I think, of AU seasons. Um, but I, don't know, I, I think it's like looked at as a solid Need season for the most part. Yet. Like it has issues for sure. Um, I, mean, I don't think a lot of those issues really arise until the merge. Um, but it is a very good season for AU standards, at least. Is Simon Dandy at it? No, but not particularly likely. I think they're going out of their way to show Simon negatively. So it's like, kind of, yeah. But like, I think with AU, it's like, if you're on the show, that's probably still better than not being on the show. Thoughts on Digimon Survive? I don't know if I'm going to like it <laughs> from the one hour I've played so far. Uh, just because like, I'm an hour into the Digimon Survive and like, I'm still in the prologue. Like, nothing has happened uh, after a fucking hour of playing that game. And I'm like... I don't know, dude. I don't know if I care enough to play this game. If this is going to be like a 30, 40 hour game of a visual novel um, that like doesn't seem to have like much actually going on so far. But I don't know. 
I hear it's good, though. Like, the story, at least, is good. So I'll stick with it for a bit, but... As of right now, I'm like... I'm kind of just like, whatever on it. Yeah, Brains of Run definitely has its haters. But I think, generally, it's looked at as, like, a solid season. Like, certainly way more popular than, than uh, Blood vs. Water. Or, like, Blood vs. Water is, like, pretty universally looked at as the worst. Uh, and then All Stars looked at as pretty Let's bad. I think Brains for Brawn is like for sure looked at better than go. those two at least. I've got a gun. Um, Speaking of which, watch all of Yellow Jackets last frame. Yeah, ideally I would like to watch it at some point too. <laughs> it's stupid. All oh, right, Kath then. and Craig. Uh, wait, is it, it's on YouTube? Not. Where's the preview for it? Not now. Amazing so Grace is the name of it. Okay. Uh, Primer drink for AU. Yet. Get out. Now, what would the ranking be? So one is very good. Like one is above two. Um, A three is probably the worst. A four. I would say one, four, two, three. Um. I think two's pretty good, actually. I think, like, two actually does have some really great moments. Um, but still, probably one, four, two, three. Actually, I don't know. Two and four, like, two and four are pretty close. Um, then five is probably only above three. Six. Oh, where's six? Where's Princess of Brawn? I don't even know where that one's at. And not. Blubber's water is probably relatively low too. Um, uh, I like I'm not gonna like again. Yeah, this season's pretty much isn't done yet, so I'm not gonna really add this one yet. But I would say like one, like one. Should I do two? Yeah, let's do two. One, two, four, five, six, seven, three. I would probably be the ranking of the free mergers. Watch All Star Battle instead of dig playing Digimon. Um, or maybe just move on to a different game than play Digimon. That'll probably be more likely. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So, <laughs> your first day uh, working with a fundraising company? Well, that's something. Yeah, everyone seems to be getting a new job. <laughs> that is like in ch in chat. No longer technical writing like Gabby. Gabby herself isn't technical. Isn't a technical writer anymore either, right? She's like uh, getting her like PhD in something. Wait, where the fuck did he go? I completely like. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Start Lego Star Wars. Yeah, that's on my list of games to play too. It's Lego Star Wars. Um, I watched um, Lasers play some of it. I know he wasn't liking it, but I don't know, I'll play it for myself. Brain for Bronze should be higher than All Stars. I don't know. Like, what happened to Brain for Spawn Primer? It's like you do have like, like George is obviously just still a great character. You get what like the Joey Blind side. Um office is up ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else like that. <laughs> no like you got like Shannon going out and like Simon, the two idols with like whatever. Uh like I I I think I even said this at the time that Simon going out with two idols is like not that interesting to me. Uh it, I, like, it's so much more interesting for Simon to have played one of those idols than Simon going out with two idols. Like that does nothing for me for Simon to go out with two idols in his pocket. Yeah, I think it was what? Yeah, Menace, Mean Squeeze, uh, Nigel. Yeah, a lot of people seem to be getting new jobs. Which black one is the most mistreated? Probably, I mean, Taylor, probably, but then probably. Kemi's probably on the same ballpark. And Dominic's probably like a step below.
Oh, wait, Big Devo is. I, I forgot what the Big Devo The Big Devo is funny. <laughs> Benny Round, I know it's fine. I think to me, like, the Benny Round was just so predictable, though. Or, like, it's like obviously Benny is going to go home here over, like, Simon was the other option, right? Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. 2017 pretty much. Yeah, it's good. Like, I think, like, the AK stuff, like, everything with him is great. Uh, like, you have his rivalry with Adam, you have his, um, like, him flipping the vote on, like, Amy, and then you have the, um, the, uh, Annalise, <laughs> uh, voting moment, which is, like, one of my favorite a AU moments. Um... Then you got like everything Henry is doing. You got uh, Jericho and the cookies, I guess. You got Luke. Put everything on the line for what? So you oh, oh, you got Odette, obviously. Uh, everyone's favorite character. Yeah. Jesse, hero or villain? I would put him on villains personally. Like if, I, if I'm like putting him on a hero or villain tribe, I would go villain, uh, where Cody would be the hero between the two. The Ziggy waste their super idol, yes. Um, but also, like, I don't think we like. Uh, I I just find like the overall dynamics of that just kind of confusing. Of like, when did Ziggy get so close? For, like, with uh, wait. I'm going this way, right? Wait, it started me in the opposite direction, right? Um, no, nah, I, I feel like like a 2017, like as good of a season as it is, I do feel like there's a lot of things I don't like feel like the edit properly showed us and i feel like ziggy's game is one of those things where like i don't know what the fuck ziggy's thinking at a lot of points in the game yeah so we have about an hour left the game at this point so now uh, we're definitely going to be finishing this pretty early I'd get the power source hooked up. What's my I also pick Carolyn? But it's your call. Can someone say I wrote out pick Carolyn also? Yeah, like I don't know. Like Carolyn's like I can see a Carolyn win, but she's definitely not someone I'm super confident in winning. I will say I'm probably not as confident on Claire right now either. Um Home's like, I don't know who exactly I would even pick I right now. It. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall I'm back. I'm going to cast real quick. It's like, yeah, I don't even know. Their hold on the but, weakening by oh. day. Carolyn, like, I can see but it, but... And, like, I do think she fits the trend of, like, a Marianne win. Number, the threat they but, um... Undiminished. Ow. Like, just listening to her interviews and everything, it's like... Washington I feel like she comes off even more over the top than Marianne did. I am told he is yeah, I will say, I I thought Heidi, so I kind of liked and Heidi in her interview for RGP, but like, not to the point where like, father, I think Heidi's going to win though. No trace. And I am like, I think Heidi's type is that like, I think she can, can get to the end, but probably not win, but also she could also just be first boot. So it's like, so not like that likely of a, a winner in my eyes. It's BB19 top three player. Paul, Josh, Christmas, probably, yeah. Connor, he's asking for you. Uh, do I think Haley will pass David for being Grace player? I don't know right now. I'm not feeling that great uh, about her game on this season. Like, obviously, she's had like a massive target on her back, and like considering that she's playing well, but like I don't think she's actually like positioning herself that well in the game. Oh, no. Your Should you put on socks? I mean, I don't know. I don't have socks on. So. Do what you want to Tell do. Me of your latest um, Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. Is there much credit to production view on the season? No, there's not at all. <laughs> this country might um, yeah, I'm hoping 44 lives up to the hype. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about production loving it. Um, but no, production has never had a good, uh, a good track record. 
Washington space. Where actually it's like the opposite, pretty much. Where like most seasons so production like hypes up preseason turn out to be bad. Um, the same is true where yeah, like father. Redemption Island. They love Redemption Island. They love Worlds Apart. When you uh, they loved Kara Moen. All Slowly while, like, not clear. hyping up, like, Kakian, not hyping up uh, Philippines. And all um, those threatened by the Templars. I think they were about right on Second Chance. Uh, even though me. I don't like Second Chance as much, mo as, much as most people, but I think they were probably about right there. Um, men what else? What other seasons? They, they love Ghost Island. I forgot about that. nothing more to discuss. Uh, Ah, uh, they, they definitely don't have a great track record. Caramon is amazing. I disagree. I think Caramon might be one of my least favorite seasons at this point. I think it's it might be bottom five for me at this point. Philippines is average. I, I still think Philippines is good. I don't know exactly how good, Connor, but I think I came good. as soon as I could. How often do I do shirtless gaming? Not that often, uh, if Tell ever. Me good news. Uh, what is this? We're doing scientific research right now. And... And they will serve as required. But what exactly I've is literally never fucking paid attention. It's better that I show you. For I'm trying, they love that Rob won. That and also they love Philip. Charles Lee may have also been dismissed, a big thing. but it does not mean we are safe. And well, also, the they love Redemption the Island, like the concept of Redemption the Island. And no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. It's like, uh, what, I think exactly. there's a decent amount of things they Kill like about Charles Redemption Island. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I'm even, district. like, trying to think, like, have they hyped... It directly. I guess they hyped up Micronesia, so right? Instead. But, like, did they used to hype up seasons the back in the day? Not Fort really, right? While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? Like, and I don't think that's like until like a 20s sort of thing. Breaching its walls they start and creating up. a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside. I don't even know find where. Find Charles Lee and silence him forever. Yeah, like C, C like, five, six, somewhere in that range. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even know why I'm bothering to answer it. Um, what mission is this again? Yeah, this is the naval mission, right? Oh, this is the fucking Charles... Th okay, yeah, this is the dumb fucking mission. <laughs> Don't ever see Luke returning? Uh, maybe. Someday. I think they for sure want him. It's just a question of, like, will he say yes? Uh, I don't know how he feels after BBAU, though. Or, like, what after winning BBAU, it's like, I don't know, does he, he like, feel the, like, does he still have that itch, um, to play? I don't know. But, uh, if he were to come back, like, I, I, like, obviously there's, like, potential of him being a big target early on, that sort of thing. But realistically, I think his run will probably play out like Jordy's did this season. Or like, I think there'll definitely be people that want to work with him. I think he'll probably um, make it like at least to a swap-ish area, and I think at that point, like maybe get taken out there. But uh, I think like yeah, I think like Jordy's run this season seems about right for what Luke would do in return. AU10, yeah, yeah. If, if AU10 is All Stars, um, which seems possible. Like, I think it's definitely uh, possible. I, I think Luke, yeah, he seems kind of likely to be there. Similar to Palesa's, um, maybe. Like the thing is, like I don't think he can like play, um, like because Palesa did a very good job at like uh, playing the middle and like playing from like the background that sort of thing. Like I don't know if Luke can do that. Like maybe in terms of like placement, yes, but um, not necessarily in terms of like gameplay style. But also, I think a lot of that is also determined like who's on the cast with him. Like, does he have David with him? Does he have like Jericho with him? Does he have like these, these other people that he knows? Like, I think that'll be a, a factor. 
I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. It's still weird to me they brought back Luke so quickly. And then they just like didn't bring it like they blew their load and didn't bring it back for all the stars. Like, it's so weird when you think about it. Like it kinda reminds me of like Survivor Michigan. Dude for Survivor Michigan and Survivor AU like kinda have like similar -esque, like esque trajectories, right? Uh in terms of like season five being all stars, season four uh, having returnee for like some fucking reason, but like with Michigan, at least it makes sense because like okay, these people are graduating, so like we know they can't be on All Stars, so we're gonna put them here. But like with AU, it just makes no sense. Like it's just like, okay, we're putting Luke on this season because I, I like I guess we need him here for some reason. Uh, yeah, a couple weeks, right? Uh, two weeks. Is it two weeks from yesterday? Or well, from Saturday? Yeah, two weeks from Saturday. So yeah, pretty soon actually. Daytime stream. Uh, I have that day off. So uh, yeah, that Saturday we'll be uh, playing the entirety of Walking Dead Telltale if I don't fucking lose my mind at least. Um, Walking Dead Telltale Season 1, I should clarify, not the entire fucking thing. Um, which even that, I'm like worried it's gonna take too long. Like, I'm worried that's going to take over, like, 10 hours. Um, but I'll play as much as... Like, I, I want to finish it, obviously. If I can't, then I can't. But... Um, but I definitely intend on, like, being live for a while, at least. Like, I think the only thing that will, like, stop it from being, like, less than, like, 8 hours would be... It would either be like me not feeling well or my internet being shit. Uh, outside, of that, I definitely intend on like being up for like at least eight hours. What was the last? I forgot. How long did the last of a stream go last time? That was like nine hours, right? So like this should be longer than that, but we'll see. Yeah, because like I want to play. So yeah, I'm pl walk playing Walking Dead Telltale season one because. Um, I'm doing a season two retrospective at the end of this year. It's so, like I'm gonna play season two eventually. But also I decided to do a four hundred days video as well. Uh to where I wanna replay that. So it's like at that point it's like well I might as well play season one also. So Yeah, we'll use that as the uh the daytime stream and then play the other things later. Is Fishback the only Final 2 losing finalist to get zero votes? Yes, in the US. Um, actually, is there an international? Susanna, right? Got zero against Johnny, right? And then. I should forget, did Jackie get a vote? I don't remember anymore. Oh yeah, like it, like International Survivor, like in terms of like outside the scope of Survivor SA and uh, and AU, like it's kind of faded from my mind at this point. Like ever since I did those UK retrospectives, I've not thought about those seasons since. Yeah, Jack got zero votes. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know what time I'll start. I probably... Let's see, so if it's 10 hours... Like, I think 1... Like, I started 1 p.m. last time. I think. And that sounds about right. Um... So, yeah, I, I, I would, I'll say 1 p.m. right now, but... Subject to change? More than I, I, if anything, it'll probably be earlier, if anything. Um, rather than later. But yeah, pro probably 1 p.m., yeah, I would say. Yeah. 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Though. Rory from Vanuatu is underrated. Uh, 
Yeah, and like what how rated is he? As a character, I think for sure. As a player, hmm. I think Haley and Nina should have flipped. Like Nina, probably not at all. Haley potentially, but um, there's not really much use, is there, in this situation? But I think it would have benefited her to get rid of Sam over Jordy. Well, right now she seems to be on the outskirts of the hero power structure. So I feel like, oh fuck off. So I feel like her getting rid of someone that isn't Sean, considering it seems like she has a good relationship with Sean, that is in the core of the power structure is probably better for her. It's like getting rid of like David, getting rid of Sam. Uh, I feel like those were decent options. But she also can't be the one to be the one that does that though. By the way, also, isn't this really weird that, like, um, like, why is Sam, it, uh, Sam, why does, uh, Simon not have this animosity towards Haley when Haley is literally the person that voted him out while George didn't? <laughs> like, George just showed up for the tribal and, like, uh, just voted what he was told to vote for. It's like, while, like, Haley is actually the one that orchestrated his, like, vote out, like, why is, uh, why is Simon not bitter at, at Haley but is super bitter at George? Start talking about uh, Walking Dead episode ranking. Say don't like episode three. Episode three of of season one. Um, I think it's probably my least favorite of season one, but still good in like the grand scheme of like Walking Dead Telltale. But yeah, I, I would say it is probably my least favorite. Uh, and like it used to be, I believe it used to be my favorite. Um, but yeah, like, my issues with it now is that I just feel like there's so many, like, minor, like, there's so many, like, annoying sections in that one. Where it's like, I mean, yeah, we do have, like, some of the greatest moments in all the Walking Dead Telltale there. But we also have, like, the, uh, like, okay. Like, I think, that, like, teaching Clem everything is great, but, like, the actual gameplay to get to that point is really boring. Uh, you also have, like, the shooter section at the motel. That's really boring. Um, or not boring. That's not the right term. It's really annoying. Uh, uh, there's, like, minor things like that that bother me there. Oh, also, like, uh, uh, unlatching the train. That's, like, really annoying. Getting the train started. Like, all that stuff. Yeah, that, that, all that stuff's annoying. <laughs> The wrong ship. My price. Uh, hey, you're uh, a bit late. Uh, Luke's run on a return. Be similar to Haley. Um, brings a run before she got voted out. Like maybe. Like, to be honest, like, I don't think it would be that dissimilar from, like, her run now. <laughs> like, her, from, like, Luke would not be that dissimilar from Haley's run now. Oh, like, some people wanting to keep him around, but he's not, like, probably, like, uh, that ingrained within any power structure. Okay, they added more ships, didn't they? Ugh. I, I've never used a yeah, chat uh, GPT or whatever. Like, I know what it is, but I just haven't bothered ever. Oh, fuck off. Of course I missed that. I fucking hate naval combat in this game. Ugh.
Uh, rewatch One World, actually better than you remembered. Post merchant Steamroll, but they're still fun. Yeah, I, I would say like Tarzan's definitely a highlight for me on that season. Uh, I think like watching the merge episode again not too long ago really remind me of that. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, Tarzan's definitely uh, like an all-time great character. Fuck, I'm, I'm gonna die again at the end here, aren't I? Wait, where is he? Oh, he's fucking right behind me. Oh, right, see you later, Menace. Uh, oh my god, can this fucking turn? This <laughs> is so slow, dude. Ugh. There we go. Kind of? Okay, I missed most of those shots. Alright. I just don't want to die here. That's going to be so fucking annoying. Oh, fuck off! Okay, well. Oh my god, I'm about to fucking die. Uh, but I love like, I'm actually genuinely excited to play Black Flag. Which will be starting next stream. But like... Just think how annoyed I am at naval combat now. Too for naval combat's much better in Black Flag, but still. I'm about to die. Or maybe not. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bryce left as soon as he arrived? Yeah, what a, what a classic Bryce moment. Which Tarzan's better, US or AU? Definitely US. Like, it's not even a question. Like, AU is just boring. <laughs> oh, is there like a notable Tarzan AU moment outside of like him giving his idol the test? Uh, like, I can't even think of like a notable like character moment from him. Oh my god, can this thing fucking die? Right, I'm gonna be so annoyed if I have to actually redo all this. Dude, I won't fucking die! <laughs> there we go. Fuck me, dude. Said Rachel Riley is best winner, uh... The big brother winner? Well, is it lying? <laughs> I'm comforting Lee after finding out. I, I don't even remember that moment. <laughs> today's a holiday in Canada? Uh, well, technically today's a holiday in the US. If we're talking about like the Monday. Can AI lie? I mean. No, right? I mean, it's not because like a lying is an intentional falsehood. Well, like an AI wouldn't like have like wouldn't be able to tell an intentional falsehood. Where are our blasted reinforcements? They will come. We must. Uh, you want to explain the idea of your university story thing? It said it was cool, but it doesn't. But it doesn't mean that. Uh, it's family day. Yeah, that sounds like a bullshit holiday. That just seems like something they just made up. Um, yeah, in the U.S. it's Presence Day, right? Which also is like whatever, I guess. Um, because what Presence Day is like? There used to be like Abraham Lincoln Day and like George Washington Day, right? And they were like, well, fuck, we're not celebrating two holidays uh, in a row. They gotta merge him into fucking, uh, <laughs> Presence Day. I'm still gonna die here too, aren't I? Oh wait, this is the ramming one. Okay, we're good, never mind. He's not really planning to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? He's gonna get us all killed. Ah, yeah, does the AI give a shit about anything? Uh... 
and Big Brother stopped promoting seasons by saying the cast is hotter than last season. Um, I think it real, really early on. I mean, really, even by, like, season four, they really, like, promoting, like, okay. Because, like, season three was the funny one. We're like, oh, we got a hotter cast or whatever. Um, but, like, I don't think they ever, like, promoted it like that ever again. So, we're, like, they were explicitly saying, oh, we got a hotter cast than last time. But um, I think, like, in terms of, like, focusing on, like, the sex angle of things, I think, like, BB9 is probably the last one. And then, yeah, like, he's like 10. I don't feel like that was a thing. Then, like, by 16, it's like, okay, summer fun, sort of, whatever. Uh, Total Drama Retrospective, uh, it's in June, I believe. I haven't edited it yet, but it's, I believe it's pretty close. Uh, I, so, next video, well, I mean, like, Last of Us and Australian Survivor is the focus for the early portions of the week. But I think, like, after that, it's the Amazon player ranking, and I believe the video after that is Total Drama Island Retrospective. Uh, I believe that is... those are the next videos to edit. Uh, I think all the BB Can videos are out. Alright, oh no, player ranking, the BB Can 1 player ranking. Which I just edited that the other day. But yeah, I think that's it. Well, that and all, like obviously all the BB Can 11 stuff, but... Cringe every time we see a BB ad, yeah, me too. <laughs> Especially preseason. Uh, chat <laughs> said Jillian uh, was the best player of BB Can 1. Uh, I, I will say, I said this in my BB Can 1 player ranking that isn't out yet. I'm about, to, yeah, I failed this. Cool. Um, that I think if it wasn't for the fact that Jillian had zero win equity, I would actually, I could see an argument for her being number one. Which, to be fair, is a radical change to her game anyway. But, like, I think, like, if you just take in the fact of, like, okay, she's the winner of the season, and, like, don't think about the fact that, like, she couldn't win against anybody practically. Then like she probably is better than like I would probably right, place her best. better than Emmett. And, like she position like she's better positioned in the game than Emmett. Mind you, she lets Emmett get his way in the end or whatever. But like, like I don't know. I could see the argument for her being better than Emmett uh, if it wasn't for the fact that she had no win equity. Uh, yeah, Challenge UK comes out today. So that's something. I, I'm pretty sure it's just saying whoever the winner of the season is is the best player, right? They say you took down that man of war all alone. Jin should be at three Perhaps because I'm his one and Gary one. No, Gary's abilities. much lower. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you think? Gary shouldn't even been there to begin with. Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to. <laughs> this music does not fit the scene. York? No, of course not. Ah, only part of it. Explain yeah, I don't know where I would land on the John Netta for, for BB Can 2 well on a player ranking. Cannon fire will breach its walls. I think I would go guns. Netta at this point. I think for a while I would have gone John. I think at this point I'd probably near. go Netta. You understand then. Especially because, like, it's not like but John. Because like John cuts Netta obviously, but like it's not like Netta wasn't going to cut John also. Um, I so I think mixing out of the fact that I think Netta positioned herself, like essentially like Netta played Jilly, like a Jillian style game, but like intentionally, um, where like, again, the thing, the pro for Jillian is that she gets to the end game with all people that are closer to her, uh, than they are to each other. Um, the problem is that Jillian had like no agency in doing that. And it was pretty much like. Uh, Emmett telling her to do that and she ends up af like effectively doing it but that wasn't really on her own accord well with Netta that actually is on her own accord um hello Connor welcome back is everything in place we oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city well, so I Spencer been up to I I have not been looking 
So I haven't looked at any like other survivor YouTubers for a while. I did see uh, Once Upon Island at like 60k subscribers, which is like, when the fuck did he uh, get that high? <laughs> uh, but good on him. I mean, like, I believe he's past idled out then, right? So, yeah, good on him, I guess. Uh, okay, we'll just run there. What mission is this? We need to distribute these okay, this is the actual, yeah, this is the actual hate then. Mission. Last video is about how bad the 44 cast is. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, yeah, what is Russell Muscle doing nowadays? I feel like I haven't seen anything of Russell Muscle. I'm sure he's doing 44 stuff, right? <laughs> Declare that Pax Pros aren't the smartest strategically. Uh, I mean, they're, it's not wrong. Oh, is that a thing? He puts a fucking Bible quote at the end of his video? That's funny. Yeah, he is, like, really religious, right? I, I believe that's, like, one of the only things I know about him. Um, which, that's something. Um, <laughs> uh, have I ever talked about... Like, I, don't, I probably shouldn't talk about my opinion on religion. Uh... But yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I, uh, I think I got recommended a Peridium video though recently, where it was like he's doing like something 2.0. Where it's like, is that really what, is that like what Peridium's doing nowadays? That he's just like redoing old videos, but then just like making like, but like adding more people to it essentially. Where's this mission? <laughs> Wait, what? The, um, okay, it's right there in the... Oh, it wants me to go into the thing. Okay. There we go. This stream talking about expectations for 44. Yeah, I... Wouldn't even care enough to talk about it, to be honest. I, I'll be like, I, I have not been like that excited for 44 personally. Like, I am in the sense that, like, again, production seems to love it, and I'm interested in seeing what four, uh, I guess. But um, I don't know, it's just like whatever. Like, I, I, I'm not like dying for another Survivor season right now. Uh, again, for me, like, I feel like my, like. What I'm personally excited for is actually Survivor Michigan, <laughs> more so than Australian Survivor and Survivor 44. Yeah, I think the thing I saw about Perdian was like return something returning player related. I went the complete wrong way. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be able to do this without encountering enemies. <laughs> Fuck these tunnels, by the way. That was a dreadful experience when I fucking uh, try to complete the underground. Never doing that again. It's like, who the fuck thinks this is good gameplay? Which, like, I mean, it's a cool concept, I guess, of like, okay, to unlock the fast travel locations, you actually need to find uh, those locations, like, underground and everything. Okay, that's kind of cool. But also, it's like, it's not fun. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I fuck this up? Where am I going? <laughs> Where is this taking me? Uh, fuck me, dude. I, I don't feel like this is ever... I, f I always remember this, like, directly taking you to the mission. Okay, there it is. That's really weird. Whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm still doing the I'm in love with dead grandmother stream. Um, Connor. At the latest, it'll be the two-year anniversary, like, this a two-year anniversary stream, which would be, I think it's the 20, 
and the April 24th. He waits for you to light this signal. Um, but realistically, it's probably just begins. whenever I finish the games Louis in 2020. Will be there as well. Too. That it'll be like one of the last things I play. Unless it's we're at the point of I do fair like that like I think I'm gonna give myself till the end of April to play games for 2022. Um, and at that point it'll just be like okay we'll make the video now. I think that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, no matter where I'm at in the process of playing games. So yeah, I think like April 24th would be like the last possible day to play it, but like ideally play it before that. We'll see. At this point, Erica is a game changer uh, potentially. I did find it funny how uh, Heidi in her interview was calling Angelina a game changer, <laughs> which is like, I mean, I guess she's not necessarily wrong, uh, but it's funny that like talking about like Angelina's rice negotiation and everything as like a game changing moment. <laughs> Uh, is coach using religion? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think it's like a microcosm of it. How people utilize religion. Who'd be a better big brother player between Rachel Riley and... Ke okay, fuck off. I mean, like, Rachel... Or like Kate seems to be like, like a Brittany Haynes if Brittany Haynes didn't care at all about the game. <laughs> what is going on? Let me climb this thing, please. Yeah, it's like if it wasn't for Angelina, we wouldn't have the rice negotiation. Thank God that's the thing we have on Modern Survivor. Like, what would we do without rice negotiations? Dude, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. No, what on <laughs> this fucking game, dude? There we go. Uh, does Rachel Riley beat Kalia and Shelly? I think she beat Shelly. Uh, with the same votes. Well, actually, no, because Shelly's on the jury. Who'd be the other jury member? Then? Well, it'd be Portia. Portia would vote for her, yeah. So it'd be the same. Um, because, yeah, it'd be Brendan, uh, Jeff, Jordan, and uh, Portia locked. And then you got, what, Danielle, Kalia, and Adam vote Shelly. So, yeah, it would be four to three. Um... Against Kalia, like Brendan, Jeff, Jordan, vote Rachel. I don't know what Shelly does in that situation. I lean Rachel, but I'm not a hundred percent. Um, obviously Danielle, Portia. Actually, no. Dan I don't know about Portia. Portia could go up in the air too, but Danielle definitely votes Kalia. And then Adam votes Kalia. But come now. You uh, cannot out match me, bit up for him. Why Daniel vote Rachel over Portia? Because she fucking hated Rachel and she loved Portia at the time. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. Uh, who's the Jesus figure? Uh, I think that might be spoilers. He's been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. Yeah, I will say that is the one thing that definitely like weirded me out about the Heidi thing. So Heidi's interview, she was talking about like her favorite moment is the the Zeke uh, is Varner outing Zeke as, as it like right gave touch. her like a talk like a lesson Declare to show her kids. But also like kept on like referring back to that moment as like a situation of like. I just hope I don't go that far. It's like, like so this is a thing people. that you think you can do? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Uh, like, why is this even a thing that we're, like, mentioning as if it's a thing you might even possibly think about doing? Um, <laughs> like, I did find that really weird. 
like uh, how she talked about the Zeke Varner situation. Do the Patriots promise the same? I find Jacasa's voting for Derek uh, because of fake pranks. Stupid reason for being rude. No, it's, it feels very Jacasta, <laughs> um, and also a lot of that's like spurred on by Donnie anyway. So, no. surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. Yeah, it's like yeah. Why are we casting someone that like? Ah, no it, 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 like I, too, I understand why she's cast, but like it, it feels weird though. It does feel weird the way she talks about it. Where like everything else about Heidi like came off pretty likable in her interview, but I feel like that was the one thing I was like, what are we talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Like, it just feels weird the way she talked about it. Yeah, I, I feel bad for Simon in, in terms of social media too. Um, because, like, okay, in terms of, like, like Simon being a dick to George, um, like, George is also being a dick to Simon. <laughs> like, I don't think that's, like, uh, I, I, I think, yeah, just the way that's, like, being talked about online is just, like, kind of weird to me, where, like, clearly, like, George is being very passive-aggressive back. Don't think I've had um, the intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. And it's like, yeah, like, Simon's, like, I mean, like, one, Simon's getting a dodo at it, but even, like, beyond that, it's like, yeah, Simon, like, does have some, like, bad moments here and there, but, like, not anything worse than what si what George is doing to him, too. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You've shown great conviction. Yeah, Simon's been a great character, for Strength. sure. Simon and George, Gosh. both of them. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. Yeah, I mean, I'll also say, like, from outside of game stuff everyone that talks about Simon well, talks about how great of a guy Simon is George has a bit more mixed reception <laughs> um, so yeah I, I, I'm i inclined to side with Simon in this personally um, at least in terms of like I don't think Simon should be like be getting like the hatred he's getting um but I'm inclined to believe that, yeah, like, I don't think this is, like, truly representative of who Simon is as a person. When Simon getting voted out? Like, potentially next round. <laughs> I don't know, like, will the heroes vote him out? Because, like, Liz has an idol. So if they are, well, yeah, Liz has an idol. Um, and if they go to tribal... How would they go for Simon? That's the question. Like, would they cut him at this point after, like, getting his idol from him and everything? Um, because that seemed to be the talking point of why they were letting Sam go. It's because they weren't willing to cut Simon. Um, but even then, like, we get to the merge. I could see him being merge boot. Um, but I cannot afford to be if the heroes get the numbers, down. I think he could be like a mid merge boot. People I don't really see Simon making it too too far though. Now more than ever. Oh yeah, I, I will say also the funny thing about to me is that like I think and this is like I talked about this like last or like I will whenever we talked about episode seven um, with Steve and like how like the fact that Steve is siding with George is kind of dumb. This is something like I I found it funny because I didn't even like pick up on this fully until I listen to the Shane Gus podcast. But yeah, like so uh so Steve is siding with George over Simon now because George saved him um over Simon when Simon's the only person to vote with Steve and also in this situation um where like that's that George was talking about of like wanting Simon to play the idol and everything. That was a situation where George supposedly voted for Steve. <laughs> so it's like the entire like notion over like um, over George like trying to guilt Simon to playing the idol is like a ba is based around this like concept of George having already voted for Steve and Steve going home because George voted for him. Uh, it's like all that's like kind of ridiculous, even more when you think about it. But really, it makes no, like 100% like Steve should not be trusting George over Simon. Uh, like that is 100% idiotic in my eyes. 
Oh. And yeah, I think a lot of it's just because, like, I don't think Steve is the most, like, like nuanced strategic thinker in the world. That day at Fort George, he feared for my safety. Uh, I should have stayed. I hope Simon I at least makes jury. No uh, I mean, he's pretty, you would think he's pretty close already, right? I will kill you, Connor. Are we getting a final three this season? Probably, right? Not here, though. Considering they, they seem Not to like today. final three. They've been trying to get final three for forever. It's so like, unless there's like a meta back or something, we're probably getting here. final three. So, how big of a jury would they want? The seven heads of your precious founding so, we're at 14 plans. right now, right? And when I so, them, all the rest will burn as well. Uh, if we get your lose two more people, we merge at 12. The human refuse that lives on your land. Uh, I think it's more likely that we have a non-alim tomorrow, and then one person goes home before the merge. We merge at 13, and we get a 10-person jury. Is that what we're looking at? Or I, I guess it could be like two people go home, we merge at 12, and then like first person isn't on the jury. I guess that could also be the situation. So either eight or ten person jury, and unless they're idiots and they go for a nine person jury, which that would seem apt for Australian Survivor <laughs> to to not be worried about three with three three tie. Um, Take him away. Yeah. So yeah, we. I'm too far. We knew about this since last season. We knew about this in Blood versus Water as well. Oh. That yeah, they changed the rules after Brains was Brawn to where like now they can't. Uh, hand idols after uh, after a vote, which is the way it should have been to fucking begin with anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we knew that last season though. But obviously that's why Jordy doesn't give away his idol after being voted out. No, I don't think we'll ever get the answer of what would happen in Micronesia. Uh, unless Jeff himself answers the question. But it's just a question that, like, doesn't need to be answered. Uh, like, because, like, that situation's never going to happen again. Uh, like, I, I don't see how production allows that. I mean, I, unless, like, I guess Edge of Extinction could have fucked that up, right? Um... But still, so it's like, I don't think that's a situation that'll ever happen again anyway. Um, so, like, I don't think it's something that'll ever naturally be brought up unless, some, like, a really uh, big fan ends up directly asking Jeff. And then maybe he'll answer it now, considering I think he will also acknowledge that, okay, this actually doesn't matter. Uh, so I might as well answer it. So, yeah, I, I think, like, that's the only case we'll probably get an answer, but I think more than likely we probably won't. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really, like, doesn't really matter that much anyway. Um, but, uh, it would be interesting to see, like, what they would have thought about, I guess, at that point. Like, would be a fitting tiebreaker. He's like... Like, would they just do it on the island? Like, I, I s assume they would just do it on the island, right? Like, if they knew it was a tie. And then maybe they would do a challenge on the island. Where is Charles Lee gone? For the win? I don't know. The harbor. To catch a ferry. Because, like, I think anything that involves the reunion show feels weird. Like, I, I don't know how they do anything at the reunion show. Uh, to declare the winner. Unless it's like a public vote, but that would just be super lame. Uh, and also, it's like, like, how do you properly do that in an efficient, in efficient way? Um, so I think it would have, like, I think it would have been a situation where if they tied, they would have just done it on the island. Like, they would have done, like, the Dom Wendell thing of just revealing the votes there and then move forward from there. Uh, I think Sam Webb will be uh, more more of a dimensional character. No, I think Sam Webb will be the same. I think he'll probably get this concept of like, oh my god, I can't believe they voted for me. Um, that's not meat ship, <laughs> but I think outside of that, he'll, he'll pretty much be the same. Mm. 
more entertaining, uh, dickish. Uh, oh, and dickish. Oh, I completely misread that. Uh, who's more entertaining and dickish, Russell Hans or George? Um, I think they're around the same level. I think they're, like, very similar characters. Uh, like, uh, the overall, like, portrayal is slightly different, but, like, I think they're, like, the type of character that they are are similar. Um, like, I think, I like, for me, Russell Hans is more iconic. Um, but I wouldn't be upset if, like, someone said, like, George is a better character than Russell Hans. They'll be like, okay, yeah. Um, but I think I would personally go Russell Hans. Sam Webb just finished Co Wrong. Good for him. Congrats on finally watching a Survivor Season 4. Or did he, he watched Token Chains before that, right? That was the thing. But still, good for him. Uh, how am I supposed to climb again? By the way, I love all like I said an hour ago that we'll be done this game in an hour and we're clearly not done. <laughs> but whatever. I will be done at around the three hour mark, I guess, at this point. But it's not like I'm in a rush considering who cares. <laughs> um This is the first time in a while I've seen Survivor be promoting Twitter and YouTube. Uh I don't think I... Oh, no, I've seen it promote on YouTube. Like, well, I've seen it, like... I'm Actually, I don't remember. Have I seen Survivor itself? I think I've seen Paramount Plus promote it, and it had Survivor in the promo for Paramount Plus. But now I think about it, I don't remember if I've actually seen Survivor itself promoted. Fuck. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> and Twitter, I don't think I've seen... Like actual like ads on Twitter for Survivor, yeah. I think Jordy. Oh, I thought Jordy was a hundred percent going home by the time it happened. I would say like for me, like midway through the episode, I was like, okay, Jordy's not going because like I, again, I came into the episode thinking Jordy was going home. I talked about this last stream. That to me, it's like the last episode felt like set up to a Jordy boot. Um. So I was like, oh, okay, that was just me being an idiot. Um. So yeah, I, I was expecting Jordy to go home coming into the episode. And then when we get to the point where like Shawnee gives him the idol, I'm like, okay, I guess there's no way that Jordy goes home. And then he mentions that I won't even have to play the idol. I'm like, oh, he's going home with the idol. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, I 100% I thought he was going, especially at the point where we have Sean create the plan um, to, to put the votes on uh, the split on Sam and Jordy. I'm like, oh, he's 100% going on. Like, there's no way he's staying at this point. Um, wait, why is this not letting me drop? There we go. I believe these but there definitely was a point in the episode where I, I did think he was, he was staying. Incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. Hey, if anyone's watching this for the gameplay, I, I feel bad for you, because you really shouldn't be. Um, I will say, I'm going to try to pay more attention when I play Black Flag. Because I haven't played Black Flag in like four years now, and then also I'm going to be doing a video on it. So I do at least want to be paying more attention there. But like for the last few streams, like ever since we started the Edso Trilogy, I have not paid attention at all. <laughs> Uh, he's like, I'm not doing videos on any of these things. I'm just like playing these games for the sake of playing them before playing Black Flag. Oh, fuck off game. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's definitely a sad way for Jordy to go. But I think it's a it's a really interesting like story arc for him, though. I think it opens it up for him potentially coming back down the road, too. Though also, if he doesn't, I think it's solid too. I think it's like we kind of see this like more like grown up Jordy here. Like I think him like leaving, talking about how he's gonna watch his kids grow, his kid grow up or whatever. It's like yeah, that was a nice moment. The Caleb have a better social game than Allie. Mm. What? I get detected. 
Uh, I would say they're around the same ballpark. I, I would say Kayla. Yeah, I would say Kayla's better, I think. Slightly. Oh, fuck off, game. <laughs> um. At the mask of your sleep schedule? Oh, welcome to the club. Uh, my sleep schedule is so... Oh, fuck off, game. Uh, but yeah, my sleep schedule is so bad at this point. Like, that's the problem of, like, having a job that doesn't... That has, like, work hours a bit later than the standard. And also, um... Like, oh, fuck off, game! Uh, and also, like, uh me streaming late and then also me like wanting to work on videos pretty late it's like it's all like uh led to me like I, i'm at the point now where like three to four o'clock that's pretty much uh average sleep time for me do i agree sandra's the best player in here's with villains no i don't <laughs> um i don't know where she is on here's with villains player ranking like Poverty, Russell are above her. I would probably have Jerry above her. She's pro she might be number four still though. I would. Where would Rupert be? As you should be for us to come all this way and JT. Nothing. Actually, I don't even know. Ah, uh, she probably still wouldn't city. be that that well. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your name. How much higher am I on Alley? I'm not well. higher you have two like that much higher at all. <laughs> uh what's the earliest I've gone to bed in the past five months? Probably like Present yourself to the one thirty, two o'clock. Maybe we one, I would say. No, actually no, 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 yeah, probably one like by the time I actually go to sleep, probably like one thirty. The problem is, though, that I'm not getting, like, much sleep either, though. Like, you would think that, okay, well, I'm going to sleep late, so then, like, I'm probably getting up late. I'm actually, like, not really. Um... Wait, can I not fast travel yet? Like, I literally, like, oh, I'm too far, like, this is an extreme circumstance, but, like... Yeah, like, I only got, like, three hours sleep <laughs> last night. Uh, like, I literally went to, like, try to go to sleep at, like, four. Um, I don't think I actually got to sleep until, like, five. Uh, and then I was, like, up by, like, eight. Or, like, I think it was, like, 7.30, really. Um, and I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was like, okay, well, I'll watch Australian Survivor, and I'll edit my big brother uh, first boot ranking. Our first HOH ranking, uh, which is why I got those done. But yeah, I really got like no sleep. And I'm actually like not even that tired right now, which is even more fucked. <laughs> Uh, can't even think of a season besides Heroes of Villains where the top two on a player ranking were two massive goats by the end game. Yeah, I, I don't know if that is the case on. Uh, on really any other list like i think hhh could be like with ryan and chrissy being high but like i think devon would be number one and two for devon would like also be kind of like goat-ish um and i guess it's like how much do you consider like rob a goat in other situations no. but in in redemption island Can, but yeah i mean you I think, you can. in terms of like, yeah, like the top oh. people being like I do not goats, as in they can't wasted. win at all. Yeah, like mm. yeah, here's the villains Stop probably. Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards. Make a sound and you With die. only with four hours of sleep, you feel terrible. Three hours of sleep must mm. fucking suck. Um, what did you yeah, like I actually you? don't feel that bad right now. Surprisingly, yeah, <laughs> I did when I got up. Like I, I, I when I was again when it was like 7:30, I was like trying to go to sleep. I was like, oh fuck, am I like? I, uh, yeah, I need to go to sleep, but like at the point where I'm at now, I'm like, yeah, I'm not that tired. Um, thank you. AI here's just player ranking: Sandra one, Poverty two, Russell three, Tom Westman four, Sri five. 
Uh, who's the last sugar? Okay, yeah, that's kind of a boring answer. Dude, the rest of the list isn't like that bad, but it is funny that Tom and Suri are like at the top. I think this game's glitched out. Right? Like, it's not showing me the objective markers. I'm pretty sure the game glitched out in that sense, but like, it doesn't really matter, does it? Considering we're at the end. <laughs> Yeah, I think the thing is, like, I think this is what, where I'm at with, like, sleep, too. Is that I think I've used to, like, feel like I need a lot of sleep. And through that, there'll be, like, a lot of points where I'm just, like, laying in bed for, like, hours on end. Like, just trying to go to sleep, and I just can't. I think I've gotten to the point now where I don't care anymore. I don't do that. Um, and that's why I'm staying up till, like, 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Is because I'm kind of at the point where, like, I'm just going to continue to work on things until I'm tired. Um, like, I'm not going to bother, like, I'm not going to waste time just laying in bed not doing anything when I could be, like, staying up actually, like, doing things. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what's, uh, like, because, like, I think realistically, it's not really, like, that much has changed. It's more so that, like, I've just, like, I'm not actively trying to go to sleep uh, anymore. It's very, like something definitely changed within like the last like few years. But I'm saying like in terms of like recently, I guess. Where we're at the point where like I'm staying up to like four o'clock just like naturally. <laughs> Uh, at this point, Sean's the only hero because he's winning. Uh, I can see, yeah, I can see Haley winning based on her edit. I don't know how she wins practically, but like just purely solely on edit, I could see a Haley win. Um, I think that is about it, though. Haley and Sean. And really, even like villain-wise, it's like it's probably just the Spice Girls. Because again, like Stevie, like I would like a Stevie win. I think it'd be funny, but like also, it's like if he were to win, I think he would be highlighted a bit more. Um, and again, Simon's getting too much of a dodo at it. Um, I feel like I'm missing a person that I have relatively high. Oh, Jerry! I, I Jerry can win. Actually, now I think about it, Jerry. Jerry's the hero. I think Jerry can win. Um. I think also a situation like Stevie where like I think he probably would have been highlighted more early on if he were a winner. But I think there's definitely a chance of a Jerry win. Like it felt like he got like such positive content for like no reason. Uh like after the swap. Or after his like first his swap to the villains. Where like all the villains talk about how much they love Jerry. Um this is also vicious. This took me forever the first time I played the game because I was a fucking idiot. And I was just like, uh, just always lose uh, Lee for like no fucking reason. There are only five villains left. Wow. Yeah, so Spice Girl, Simon, Steve. Who knew Steve uh, would be a top five villain? At this point. Actually, it's, it's even weird when you... Yeah, it's Steve and Simon. Why do you persist? Do so you it's literally Spice Girls and then again. the two people you uh, that were we initially on the outs of the Simon vote. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. I think of JP as a player. Oh, what do you think? think you mad. This uh, is why. Even those David seems like he's the best player. Yeah, I think that probably is the case, which is what yes, makes his edit so. Is that I think they like from what we're seeing, David seems like a genuinely great uh, survivor player. Um, but he's just like not on the show. Uh, 
Have I had a massage or a chiropractor? I have not. No, not really my thing. Um, percentage of returnees in general? Like 25 maybe? Like I think realist, I think it's just a newbie cast. Um, I'll be happy if it's returnees. Um, but I, I think realistic, it's probably just a newbie cast. Um, I, yeah, I think if it was returnees, I think we would blatantly know by now. Um, where again, BB Can 5, it's like we knew from pretty early on that there were going to be returnees. Um, while here, it's like the only thing we really have is everyone hoping it's returnees. And, like, the fact that there's that Big Brother All-Star thing from Hamster Watch, which is not really that reliable of a thing. It's it's more so just, like, um, I, it, it's something that supposedly was there since BB-22. Uh, so, I, I, I don't think it's actually happening. You want a new room massage? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a... Thing you talked about a lot, Charles River. like early, in the early days of stream, I right? Need passages well. Which uh, get one? Of course. I'm sure you can find one. Only say the word. Uh, Squid Game Challenge isn't coming out to 2024. That's a shame. I, I really don't care. To be, like, I'll probably watch it for the sake of it, but like, um, yeah, it's like not really a. Uh, I, like, I'm definitely not going to cover it or anything. I, I really don't care enough to make a video on it or anything. Um, but it could be, like, this big train wrecky show, I guess. Sabrina says she was called, but the climb for this season? I know she's for BB Can 5. Now we're getting old school Bryce back. So that's great. <laughs> Again, the people that weren't here during the early days of, sh of streams and everything. This is Bryce like, like almost every stream, like pretty much every stream, like half of his or things like that, which is it's like, um, which is the main reason why I never bothered to put chat on screen because like realistically, I want to put chat on screen. Um, but I know, like, someone's probably going to say something dumb. I'm like, do I really want that on, like, the VR guy forever? Uh, probably not. I have not watched Milf Manor. How far into the season are we? Uh, like, is it almost done? I, like, I probably just won't ever bother watching it again. But, um... Now, like, uh, maybe there's a chance if I just, like, binge it all at once. But realistically, I'm probably just never going to watch it. It's still so weird that Milf Manor is a fucking show in 2023. How's the Man premiere? Bad. Really bad. <laughs> um, uh, it's all fine as long as it's uh, as long as it's with consent. Um, yeah, I mean like the first first streams were yeah, just like all talk about Lauren O'Connell. Um, and then yeah, moved on to uh, Peyton List. Uh, again, occasional talk about wanting new room massages. Um, yeah, that, that's that's Bryce for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to mention it uh, in the video, though, at least. In the reality TV video. I have it on my list of shows. Actually, have I ever update? I don't even remember anymore. Oh, yeah, Oz I Hate. Yeah, that was also a Bryce thing. Um... Actually, I kind of forgot what they had the Aza uh, stuff. Yeah, I have it on my list of shows. Did I ever update this? What's not on here? 
Long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. I think this is mostly updated. So these are the shows that I have on. Oh, I didn't add Ride or Die to the ranking. Yeah, okay. What well, Ride or Die? Is it better or worse than the Circle Season Five? I actually don't know. Is it worse? I think I might have it as worse. Where you have found it. Well, it's like I would rather rewatch Circle Season Five than Ride or Die, probably. Then again, I'm probably more likely to watch Ride or Die more, like again, than Circle. And then in time. In time. I feel like I remember Bryce's first stream. Because I think it was the in. I think I was playing Inside. I think that was his first stream. Do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. Um, but what of my people? Yeah, so shows from this year. I have on here. As was your Got Australian Fire Heroes for Villains. To be Can 11. Survivor 44. Survivor UK. Big Bird 25. Survivor 45. Amazing Race 35. Challenge UK. Challenge Argentina. Still Challenge World Ridiculous. Championship. Challenge All Stars 4. So Challenge good. USA 2. And the fact there's five uh, challenge, well, six challenge seasons this year, that's insane. Uh, BBAU 2013, Pressure Cooker, I forgot, I was going to watch Pressure Cooker. Um, the Climb, I'm probably not going to bother watching The Climb. Uh, the Traders UK Season 2, Perfect Match, I forgot what Perfect Match, that did come out, right? That was on Valentine's Day. I don't know if I'm going to bother, but maybe I will. Um, Claim to Fame Season 2, that should be fun. Milf Manor. Uh, A&W 15 for some reason, um, Amazing Race Canada 9, uh, Squid Game The Challenge, we'll see, um, Traders AU Season 2, and then Big Brother UK 2023. 20, is that everything? Wait, is that a like, perfect match filmed in the All-Stars 3 house? That's really weird. Um, like, why? Uh, what was the... Oh, yeah, someone mentioned the Traders New Zealand, right? I want to see... Um, what's going on with that? Oh, this was announced a while ago. Yeah, this was announced last year. Okay. I just never heard it, that it was coming. Yeah, this was announced back in November. And November 4th. Yeah, I guess I'll add it to the list of potential shows. Uh, the Traders and Z. I think that's every show, though, right? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> By the way, that is 28 shows, though. <laughs> like, that is a ridiculous number. Actually, wait, wasn't there a Netflix show? I feel like there was another Netflix show. Like, didn't a show just come out not too long ago that I was thinking about watching? I love how it's... Yeah, I go on Netflix and it's instantly recommending a perfect, a perfect match. Physical 100, is that the one I was thinking of? I don't remember... I feel like there was a show that I was, like, interested in watching that was a game show. Then. Oh, wait, Mole Season... I didn't write down Mole Season 2. Uh, because that got announced. Mole Netflix. Actually, should I... I should jot, I'm going to jot down Survivor Michigan All-Stars, which is, like, I'm not going to include in the proper ranking, but I might mention it. I know where the key is. So, yeah, and I'll jot that go. down, too. So, at that point, we're at 30 seasons of reality television. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you later, biggest party. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah I'm probably going to be up for another hour still. So, um, Was Corinna go Goat and Gabon? Um, hmm. All right, no, right? Inside. Well, I mean... Corinne probably wins if she's out. at the end against Find anyone not in the Onion Alliance. The power sources. I'm on it. 
so yeah dated and related was last year yeah I'm not gonna watch that <laughs> um Canada's ultimate challenge what is that ah fuck off wait wasn't there special special forces is a show right I thought about watching that but now it's like I don't, I don't think I care enough um yeah it's Special Forces World's Toughest Test. But uh, I heard Rob talk about it on the Australian Survivor podcast, and he was saying it was really bad. Uh, plus, also, I'm like not that interested in watching it anyway, so it's like... Oh, I probably won't. Alright, this is the end of the game. Should rank Mission All-Stars? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I still feel weird, like... Comparing a non-televised, like I mean, like kind of like an like an amateur sort of show, uh, made by college students to like an actual full production. Well placed relays, and we'd be swimming in information. But to be honest, we have everything we need. Would it be number it's one? Okay. Like, it pro like We're close. Uh, as of right now, I think it is probably uh, my favorite season of a show I've watched I've this year. Like, you know, oh wait, fuck! I'm an idiot. I never did. That. I never put the oh, things in. I never put the power sources in. All right, so we're not at the end of the game yet. God damn it! Oh well, yeah, I just never did this, did I? No, oh, it's a raccoon. Yeah, have you not been here today yet? I sure realized that. Yeah. Uh, first thing you remember was just after I made the global runner-up video. So that was already like a year in, right? But he's like, I started April 24th, 2021. And to be fair, like pretty much no one showed up outside of Soraquil, like consistently until Big Brother season, I believe. To pull her fury into this place and dispel it. So like, because I, I believe even if you look at, so Twitch Tracker, is a site that I like going at to like look at like Twitch analytics and everything, and like it never even bothered. Like I believe what happens there is that like it only like uh, measures streams that have like an average viewership of five or more, um, which like obviously like nowadays like every, that's every stream. But like I'm pretty sure it doesn't even like it, it didn't even bother including any of my streams. Uh, until like a few months in, because like just like no one showed up early on. Um, where like I'm pretty sure like average. Actually, dang, I have my own spreadsheet. I can look at this for like average viewership. Um, yeah, like uh, so. Well, dang it, I streamed for like a couple weeks before I even announced it. To which I barely got an average of one viewer. <laughs> uh, and then after I announced it, the average went up to like two or three. Uh, but even then, that one higher than 3.4. And then, yeah, Big Brother season started. Uh, and that's when it went up to like six to eight. <laughs> um... Uh, then Survivor season started, and that's kind of where, like, it started to be a bit more stable. But even then, like, I mean, to be fair, Twitch at this point, like, has been around, like, we've been around the same for the last, like, year or so. Um, like, essentially, since the start of 42, I feel like streams have been about the same, where we've had, like, average viewership, like, in the, like, 10 to 20 range, or kind of varying amounts between then. But, like, very rarely there's a stream that, like, has less average viewership than, like, 11 um, nowadays. But also, it's, like, I believe still the highest average stream... Actually, no, I was going to say is 18, but now I think about it. I believe the Survivor Finale... Survivor 43 Finale stream had, like, 22. But that's also because it was a shorter one. Um... Actually, that's also the thing that, like, if I only stream for, like, two hours, my average stream, uh, like, my average viewership would be so much higher. It would be, like, double, which is funny. Or not double, probably, like, I don't know, like, an extra, like, it would probably be, like, 
above, like slightly above 20 instead of the like 14 or so it is now. But these were small and simple things. To replicate oh, you did a Gabon thing for, a, <laughs> for a, the AI. We lack the energy Do I like Matt from San Francisco? Um, world, I haven't listened to his interview yet, actually. But I don't, know, I don't have that great to read. <laughs> Again, we I don't know at this point. Quarter, they asked. Even this Want to join your podcast? Eh, I'm probably a good. Sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they um, the answer was still the same. Interview gave good vibes. Yeah, I'll listen to it eventually. Actually, I think I'm on the pod. So uh, with RJP, I'm up to Josh. Uh, so I think I'm pretty close to Matt. I think he's in the same podcast as this. Like he's on the same tribe, right? As Josh. So again, I'll get to him eventually. Yeah, I did not love Josh. Uh, I, I think my opinion of him was about right. <laughs> From the like preseason or pre. Interviews. Only one way to find out. David reminds you of Josh from Blood vs. Water as a player. Oh, we're AU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can see that. I, I can see similar vibes in how they approach the game. Hey, right, best move in South Pacific. Uh, coach flipping Cochrane. Uh, I think that's pretty definitively the best move. Like, I don't know what the other option would be. Say for I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I still plan on streaming it. Um, again, at worst, it'll be the two-year anniversary stream, which would be April twenty uh, fourth. But I would ideally like to play it earlier. It's just a matter of where I'm at with playing all the what other is games. A fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence. Convincing Brandon to give up immunity. The, th the problem I have with that is like changed. is one I don't love how it uh, I don't love how Coach utilizes that move for his like journey management and everything. That and also it's like how much credit do you give to coach how much credit do you give to Brandon like I feel like with the like flipping Cochrane that's something I can fully give to coach and like I think that's like uh, like essentially a game like winning move for Upolu at least and it should have been a game winning move for coach but he fucked up but uh, like I think that is like the game changing move of the season while Brandon giving up like getting Brandon to give up immunity is like it's impressive on paper but I think it also has some like downsides uh, that like I just think make the Cochran run a lot more impressive. Uh, best move in Gabon. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. It's like what's the best move in Gabon? Like I mean, like the first thing that comes to mind is obviously taking out Marcus, but it's like. How much of a move is that, really? When it's like, okay, he just got swapped into a position where uh, Kenny, Crystal, and Susie like have the numbers. It's like, yeah, Susie was on a try with Marcus, but like they were never particularly close or anything. So it's like, uh, um, I guess like you can say like flipping Susie against uh, Coda, but like even that, it's like I don't know where you really attribute. That. Mm. Now, what's like the best individual move? Like Ace Boot, maybe. Oh, okay, cool. Like getting suit, yeah, getting Sugar to flip on Ace. I think maybe that is uh, up there. Like especially, I think that's like kind of like in the Brandon column. Like I think in terms of like just pure impressiveness. Then that's definitely the answer, I think, is getting s s sugar to flip on Ace. To um, but again, in terms of like, the past, like the long-term effects of it, it's like, I mean, I guess it, forward. I guess it is good because, like, I guess that is like, and so here like Kenny and Crystal bring ourselves. sugar in, and no uh, makes her like 
few more welcome them by the time the merge where she does fully flip so nah, it probably is uh, probably is up there i i really like nate from cook islands i was always disappointed he never got a second chance the one you call minerva in time she shell blindside the first rival i mean that that's a move i guess um, she called out across time what's the worst alliance between Mrs. Robinson and Regulators? I mean, Regulators is worse in the sense that they're literally the all the early boots. They're literally the first four boots of the season. Again, Brendan is in there, but he comes back. But still, it's like they're literally the entire pre-jury. So, I, I would say they're worse than Mrs. Robinson, which at least had Zack get towards the end of the game and almost win. Um, but then, again, like in terms of functionality as an alliance, like they're probably around the same ballpark. Or yeah, Mrs. Robinson, obviously, like never. Um, actually, they were not really that real of an alliance, right? It's like um, because, like, really, what it is that like Kale wanted to get the guys to like back her up. Uh, Nick never really was loyal to them at all and ratted them out almost instantly. Um, like Zach was there, <laughs> uh, but like seemed to only be there because he had a good relationship with Nick and with Mike. But I didn't have um, to. I chose to. And Mike and Kale actually had a good relationship, but still, it's like you know, was going it, it was never like the apple back to it never felt home. like a real alliance. I saw the satellite launched. I saw the. Is Kale a bad player? Yes, then... yes, Kale is a very bad player. <laughs> it failed. Watching this makes it reminds me just how much I used to care about Assassin's Creed, which is just so funny. To be careful. I was like, how the fuck did I care about this series uh, so much? How soon do I expect Horacio to win the ch a challenge season? Uh, next season, very soon. Uh, I don't know. He might have a target on his back. Uh, for the immediate future, but I, I think like very, I, I would expect it very soon. Like if they let him get to a final, um, I would expect him to win if he is doing it on his own. Or has like a really competent partner. Then again, to be fair, I thought similar things to Fessy. But also, like, I feel like I feel more confident with Horacio than I do with Fessy winning a final. Where, like, Horacio is, like, this is literally his entire thing, right? That's what Exaclon or whatever's show is. Mind you, he didn't win, right? He didn't win that show. But still, it's like, uh, I, I would assume this is the type of thing that Horacio would be good at. Jerry's the only newbie that might win. Yes. Right? Yeah. He's the highest on my uh, power ranking right now. And I think there is, like, a legitimate story for him. Um, like, Liz is kind of a weird one where, like, she could win. But it's just, like, week one was just so wonky for her. Um, and, like, even now it feels like she's just a background character for George is Shawnee. Um, I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. Uh, who, who, like, what are other newbies are even left at this point? We I'm trying to, like, who's, kind of yeah, who's left as a newbie? It's just, like, it's mostly vets, right? I mean, um, we so we got Jerry, doing down here? Matt, they were David, different solutions, but nothing worked. Ben, just went from one to the next, and then Liz, I don't know. They must have left at some point. Is Liz the only villain? I wonder what the world newbie like left. I'm more concerned about what it will be like. That's kind of done. insane. Salvation. Ben, would, yeah, Ben would be interesting. It's not happening though, right? Not for you. But it would be a funny story. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Yeah, both Jordy and Jessica voted on the same episode. They got an idol. That that is a. Uh, that is the case. Uh, yeah, if only I knew who the fuck David is, that that would be great. Yeah, why is David invisible? I mean, like, I, I think it's... Uh, one, I think, is the fact that his alliance is 
filled with people who just would naturally get more screen time than him, which is essentially just returning players. Um, that, and also I just assume he's not that important to the overall story of the season. He's probably like a random mid-merge boot that doesn't have much to do. It would consume us. Uh, thoughts on Assassin's Creed Odyssey? It's shit. It's like, it's not actually one of the worst games I've ever played, but I think it's like one of the, like, I don't know, it's one of the games that, like, bothers me the most, I guess. I do actually genuinely want to replay Odyssey at some point on stream. But I'm not probably doing that soon. Worst player of the moving company? Jeremy, probably. In the end, it changed yeah, him. it's Jeremy. Ruined him. Like, I think he ranking the moving company is probably machines. what McRae, Spencer, the actually yeah, Spencer, survive, Spencer McRae. His mind became um. Yeah, Spencer McRae, Nick Howard. For, days, for weeks, for months. Uh, Jeremy. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. No, Flick's barely getting any content either. Flick's only had six him. confessionals, I believe. Not for us. Oh yeah, da again, David seems like an actual great survivor player. It's just that he's not on the show. And like, uh, with that, it's just how do we even assess him? Like, actually, I'm trying to look this up right now. Like, what's Simon? Because like, I'm pretty sure Simon got a confessional early on, right? Uh, Simon. Yeah, Simon didn't get confession until episode seven. Actually, I forgot about like Simon got seven confessionals in his boot episode. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> like he's like completely. He only gets sixteen confessionals the entire season. Seven of them come from his final episode, which is episode twenty. Um. So yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> But yeah, by this point, uh, actually, is this the longest streak ever? He's gone 10 episodes. Oh, actually, no, Mel, right, has the record. Yeah, Mel went 13 episodes before getting a confessional. She didn't get a confessional until the merge. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. I forgot that was the thing. But yeah, so David, we'll see if he gets a confessional. <laughs> next couple episodes but he might be on uh he might be on pace i see a letter radio ranger you've probably already gone by this point um is caitlin herman the worst player bb20 i think so yeah if not her than winston probably but yeah, I think she would be at the bottom for me of a BB20 player ranking. If Steve goes to merge he'll cry. I mean, there's not many opportunities left, right? And like, he doesn't seem to be on the bottom of his tribe. Like, I feel like he should be good for the merge. Again, there's at most two more tribals. What is consciousness um, but a series of possibly even only one more. Uh, elimination body, before the merge. To hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, Steve gonna win now, but like Steve could definitely uh, get to the end. Why is Winston the worst? Because he was instantly uh, a target for over half the house. And then also did very little to actually get himself out of that situation. It was all Tyler's work that he benefits from. Only for him to be sniped out by his own alliance. Uh... One that might enjoy. A few weeks later. It proved easy enough to enter. Yeah, what a legend Stevie is. Uh, again, like I, I would love a Stevie win. It would be so funny. Uh, but it's, it's again, not happening. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Mel also got voted. Oh, I forgot about that. Mel got booted out too. Uh, and came back to the game and still got no confessionals. Are you getting married to Peyton List? I I'm sure you are. I mean, I'm sure that's 
definitely what's happening. Isn't she dating like uh Hawk? Is that his name? From uh from Cobra Kai? You hate diversity? I that sounds like a thing you would say. <laughs> um yeah, it is funny, too. Yeah, David was, like, the main newbie, right? Like, he was, like, the big name of the newbies. <laughs> like, he's just not getting any content. Worst player between Shelly and Clay? Clay. Um, I think Clay probably has, like, more consistency in him than Shelly, but I think Shelly overall had more, like, strategic ability. And also just cared about the game more than Clay. And the thing is, he's not getting consistent content. Like, Stevie's never... Like, Stevie doesn't have that much... Uh, like, he doesn't have that many confessionals. Like, he's present in the episodes, but he's always being talked about. More so than him, he himself getting to talk. Like, he's being talked about as a number for other people. But he's not getting to talk about his own point of view. He hasn't had a confessional since episode 7. He got four confessionals episode 1, four confessionals episode 3, two confessionals episode 6, four confessionals episode 7. Like, he's gotten zero confessionals in over half the episodes. Actually, no one has... Yeah, actually, it's funny. that I, I believe no one... has more... or has... Le well, okay. Well, Simon is the person with the least amount of zero confessional episodes, and he has two out of ten. George has three. Shawnee has four. Sean has three. Haley has five. Sam has five. I just find that Benjamin, that Ben is like, what is that? Um, Ben's like the only newbie in the top half of the professional count. Uh, what am I doing here? That was the last one, right? Guess this is it. Oh, here we go. We're finally at the end of the game. I should have been at like 45 minutes ago. Uh, does Josh get pro Josh votes or anti Paul? Um, let's see. So Cody is anti Paul. I really, they're all anti. They're all anti Paul with like a smidge of pro Josh from Alex. Uh, but everything else is anti Paul. While the votes that Paul gets are all pro uh, Paul votes. Moment of truth. But yeah, like Cody is like completely anti Paul. Mark and Elena are uh, pretty much all anti Paul. Um, Jason is 100% anti Paul uh, in the sense that he actually wanted to vote for Paul, but Paul just didn't give him like the answers he wanted. Uh, so he, like, decided to vote for Josh. Um, but again, it was, like, a decision entirely based around, like, his opinion of Paul. And then Alex is, again, like, Alex had, like, reason to want to vote for Josh. Um, but also was very anti-Paul. Uh, Steve is so good at challenges versus... Yeah, I mean, Steve actually is... Like, I, I think the fact that Steve and Jerry are, like, the same age, like, that's kind of insane. Yes. If Shiny gets to the end, you oh. think she is the number one female AU player? Uh, I mean, it depends on how Haley does, but I, I still would have Haley. Here. Like, I, I would have more faith in Haley on any given you know season more than Shawnee, but I think Shawnee would probably be number two. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Like I think Shawnee would pro Shawnee would probably be above Sharn by that point. Is if sh if she uh, does very well this time. 
Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You. Is BB-19 Jerry way, uh, you left. way better you than All-Stars? Um, I, yeah, I actually think BB-19's on. jury as, like, in terms you of the votes that were anti, her. like, so the votes for Free. the eventual winner were more bitter at Paul. Awaiting um, I will explain. Actually, how should I phrase this? Well, we like, I, I, the thing is, like, the Josh wins She's almost entirely on an anti-Paul sentiment. Where Amber wins emotion. through a the lot of anti-Rob sentiment, but also one pro-Amber vote. Like, the deciding the vote is a pro-Amber vote in Xi'an. Like, Xi'an, like, so was not bitter at all. She just thought well, Amber played a better game for some reason. Uh, but, like, she was a pro-Amber vote. We well, like, yeah, Tom, Alicia, um, Lex were very anti-Rob votes. Um, but she at least had that pro-Amber vote in there, while Josh, like, barely has that. And it is mostly a jury vote decided by, like, the opinion of Paul. So, like, I would say BB-19's jury as a whole is more bitter. I would say BB Can 1, though, is probably, like, the most bitter jury of all time, probably. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought. Still, death would claim us. Uh, who's next to Boots? I think Ben is one of them. That's uh, that is if we get two Boots. Like, again, it could be a non limb and then a Boot, and then merge after that. But, if, like, two Boots before to merge, I think Ben seems to be set up for a Boot. Um, after that, I'm not sure. Um, you cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Ah, oh, could it just be Flick? Will be saved. The world He's like, I, I assume it'd be Flick or Matt. And by the fact that we got, like, George talking about how he's surprised that Matt has this in him and everything, it makes me think that, like, he, in terms of the double agent side of things, I think they're leaning towards Matt over Flick. Show me. Is what I would guess. Um. So, I think Flick's more likely to leave than Matt. Also, something I did find interesting, too, with this episode. Um, I forgot when it was, but they mentioned the term underdog, and we cut to Matt, right, as they say underdog. I did notice that. I was like, hmm, could that be set up? Um, but, yeah, other tribe, Liz has an idol, so she's safe. And I don't know, could they just let Sam go? Could they just say, fuck it, like, we already split the vote on Sam before, let's just take out Sam here. Um... He's like, I, unless they're at a point where they already know Simon's idol's fake, I don't see them taking out Simon. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving Matt is the majority of the season. Yeah, I, I think I'm probably in that ballpark. Like, I don't know if he has that much longevity necessarily. I'm too fair. Jordy gets sixth place. Like, it makes like it feels like Jordy was there forever because of like purgatory and everything. But like, I, don't know, I could see like sixth place for Matt. I think that probably seems about right. Like kind of like a Brett uh, closer sort of role on the season. Uh, does Rob only lose against Amber? No, right? I think he loses against. Most people, it's just, I do think he beats Jenna, or at least I think there's definitely a path to win against Jenna. She would sacrifice you. I don't know. I mean, I think if we like do a really in-depth look at the votes, like it probably is close. But it's like against Rupert. Um. Let's see. So Rob against Rupert. Where would this go? Um. Again, let's just say for the sake of things. That yeah, Shean was anti Jenna, and that's why Rob would have the advantage there. But I don't know. Like I mean, I think Rob Rob against Rupert is interesting because like I don't know where Shean lies in that at all. Like I don't know where she would vote. Enough. Um, but like obviously you have Tom, Alicia. Like the thing is like Tom, Alicia, Lex are never voting for Rob against anybody. We'll find a way to stop. Um, so like he needs to essentially sweep the remaining four votes. Which in that case, it's like okay, he gets Amber for sure as long as he doesn't betray her. Um, like there's a chance of getting Shean because I do think Shean was trying to play to vote for the best player. 
I just don't Decisions know made. what she actually believed was the true power structure if she actually thinks that Amber played the best game. <laughs> um, but, like, I think she's probably a Rob vote. I don't know where Jenna goes, considering, yeah, she had a close relationship with Rupert on the island. However, she had a pre-game relationship with Rob. So, I don't know um, where she would go for sure there. So go. Um, go. And who's the other vote? I'm missing one. Wait, Amber, Jenna, Sheehan. Oh, Kathy. Kathy would probably go Rob over Rupert, I think. Um, yeah, I, I think it's like, I, again, that's not even a guarantee, though. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, the thing about, and I think, to me, that is the haziness of a Rob-Jenna final. Um, final two is Kathy. Where, to me, I feel very solid on the other votes. I think Kathy is the one that I'm a bit more conflicted about. Like, I love how I'm talking over Desmond's death. Um, but that's the one I'm conflicted on because, like, sort of again, Kathy had a pregame relationship, obviously, with Rob. They were very close before the season. They had a pregame relationship, um, an alliance, and Kathy did feel betrayed by him. However, she votes for Rob against Amber. However, that's because she was very anti Amber. Like, she looked at Amber as essentially the reason why Boston Rob flipped. And she, like, put a lot of her bitterness into Amber instead of Rob. Um, however, if it's against Jenna, I'm not sure if she just instead puts all that bitterness into Rob. Or if she still decides to think, like, okay, I had a pregame relationship. We are friends on the outside. We'll vote for... Uh, I'll, I'll vote for Rob. I, I don't know exactly. I, I lean towards her voting for Rob. But I, I don't know for sure. But I think against Rupert, I think that's even tougher. Um, so I don't know. I, I think it is up for grabs. But I think I think Rob has like more of a chance than people to admit, um, considering how much of an ocean there is around how he had no chance. Uh, yeah, that that's a large portion of it, that Rupert and Jenna voted for Rob because they respected their deal. I mean, I think Jenna was more so, like, she actually, like, thought he played the better game. Rupert, I believe the case is that Rupert and Rob had a deal that if either of them got to the end, they would vote for each other. Um, and that's why Rupert sticks to his word there. Yeah, everyone's favorite Assassin's Creed character's dead. Like, I fucking loved Desmond back in the day, truth be told. Uh, um, well, whatever. I, I was thinking of, like, starting AC4 tonight, but, like, we're already three and a half hours in the stream. I'm not going to bother playing AC4 for, like, 30 minutes. Um, so, I don't know. We'll just uh, do random shit, I guess, for 30 minutes or so. Um, do I think the Fraser boot is the best tribal council in Australian Survivor history? I think it's up there. I think for me, it's between that and the Matt Rogers vote still. Uh, I I think there is a serious argument for like I think for tribal as a whole, like the entirety of the tribal from beginning to end, I think it probably is the Fraser boot. Um, I think if we're just talking about solely the vote off, I think Matt Rogers boot is still number one. Um, but yeah, I, I okay that flickered. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Um, but yeah, I think. Um, the entire tribal, it probably is the Fraser Root. And to fair, like, it was fucking 40 minutes. Uh, like, it was a ridiculous uh, length. So, that definitely uh, plays a factor. Which Big Brother players is of me of? How is that? Joel? <laughs> From BB Can 4? <laughs> That's like the first person that comes to mind for some reason. Uh, Coke Man New Flavor? What is this? Oh, it's like just... what? What is this? Rosali? Rosalia? Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this one before. What's it supposed to be, though? I, I haven't liked any of the uh, creations, Coke creations flavors that I've tried. <laughs> I love how like, I randomly got an ad for Gamefly on the side that says Crisis Core is on sale. $35 for Crisis Core. 
I don't know if I'm I, I, I don't think I'm gonna buy it for 35 <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait um, yeah, what else is on sale do I own everything the only game I feel like I'm I would want to 22 video at this point is um, is what the fuck is it? Callisto Protocol but like that hasn't dropped in price yet and I can't believe it hasn't like I don't know why Callisto Protocol hasn't dropped in price considering like how bad of reviews it got like you would think the game would like just instantly drop in price but for some reason it's still like $60 um But whatever, I guess. I'm not even, like, that dedicated to buying it. <laughs> like, if I do, I do. If I don't, it's like, whatever. Um, I, I already know the epic story of Zack. I, I know everything about his dreams and honor, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, whenever you hear the term, like, whenever you hear him say dreams and honor, it just makes me laugh. And, like, the, um... What's the name of the song? The song that plays, like, during every, like, NGO moment and everything in Final Fantasy, in Crisis Core. It's like, every time I hear that song, too, it makes me laugh. As I, I can't take Crisis Core seriously. <laughs> like, it's so bad. <laughs> um, and again, I wanted to make a video on it. I don't think I'm going to anymore. Um, or at least not in the immediate future. But I think it would be funny to actually do a video on Crisis Core at some point. I, I still need to, like, I need to do Final Fantasy VII OG before I do Crisis Core, though, I feel like. Where I have Victor on a BB-18 player ranking? I'm not entirely sure. Um, so what's the rank? Like, uh, so probably like Nicole, Corey, Paul, James, they're all higher. Is Natalie higher? Probably. Like, I think the tough thing about Victor is that I actually think Victor played pretty well after coming back the first time. Um, and like it's different. even the second time, like he played fine, but obviously it's the fact that he, he did get voted out <laughs> and had to come back continuously. Um, yeah, when when are we getting a Laguna um spinoff? We need a Laguna spinoff. What a travesty! They never made a Laguna America game. No yeah, Polly would be higher than Victor for sure. Um. I don't know, it's like, I, I think the tough thing is that, like, he had such win equity, and I actually don't think he played that poorly after he returned. Um, so I don't know how low exactly he would be. Death to the oppressor! Down! Um, if Jory was voted out instead of Frazier, I think there's an argument for best tribal. Um, to a degree, but I also feel like, uh, I think there's that shock factor, though, in, in it being Frazier. So I think, like, considering it's someone that, like, they hadn't explicitly mentioned as a target, I think that kind of adds to the appeal. I think that also adds to, like, the, like, appeal of the move as a whole, too. Where it's like, oh, George is doing all this to, like, split up, like, Jordy and Simon and, like, all that stuff. Like, I think that kind of adds to it. Um, it is here? According to Jay Batters, Victor is the top 13. I forgot Jay Batters was the person. Um, yeah, Victor, thir top 13, why not? Um, yeah, I think the thing that like people like don't talk about as much with Victor is that, yeah, he gets voted out three times on season, but his second vote-off is like a massive fluke. Uh, like His second vote-off is one where um, like he was the secondary target to Paul. Okay. Paul oh, wins the veto. And that's all in a situation okay. where Nicole manipulates, um, what is what, manipulates Natalie and Michelle into flipping on Paul and Victor, and they regret the move immediately after it. Um, and they actually tried to save Paul and Victor at a point, um, but James turned it down. Seeing it happen more and more. So it's like uh, Victor comes like extremely close to staying that week. <laughs> How can you shape matters? It's just random YouTube. We're on our own. Uh, 
No more merry yeah, random YouTuber. Let's see what G Vatters is doing nowadays. Oh, I got past 4,000 subscribers. Land is quick and easy. Good on him. Quite so nasty as taxes. Oh, he's uh, updated all of his like channel art and everything since last time I seen him. I, I probably haven't looked up Jay Vatters in years at this point. When was the last time I even bothered looking up Jay Vatters? Like, this is probably literally over a year ago. Too soon for taxes. Too British. Now, when was the last time he did a Survivor video? I feel like it has... Like, I don't see any right away. Um, he did M. Night Shyamalan movie tier ranking. That's something. Thank you. Uh, he did a ranking of the Best Picture nominees. Uh, he did a video about Forspoken. Forspoken is a bad game. Uh, the Last of Us TV show is fantastic. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, he did do a uh, video on his thoughts on Survivor 43 two months ago. So. Good for him. What's his most viewed video? Top 10 rated R animated movies. That's such a random video. Um, his Big Brother winner ranking is... Uh, <laughs> I love it. Like, it's big, so he has a Big Brother winner ranking. From three years ago, I guess. Um, I guess that's his most viewed reality TV video. You go to the, uh, like, you hover over the video. Um, the preview for it is showing Andy is number 26 somehow. <laughs> um, which, like, one, it's like, I don't know where he got 26 winners from. Um, but also, Andy is number 26. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Is that it? Or is there one more? I guess there's one more. I don't even remember which steam this is. Oh, included celebrity and OTT. So what three years ago would be uh twenty-four, twenty-two, so would it be after twenty-one or twenty-two? I think after when you want. Yeah, if it's the video is three years old. Yeah, so it'd be after 21. So I guess he, so is, is he including Eddie then? He's including Eddie, adding in, but there's only two celebrity and one OTT. So we're like, where did he get the other people? From? Whatever, who fucking cares? Um, but still, it, it's, it's funny that <laughs> Andy's that low. Um, Wait, what? Why did it tell me to go to New York? Oh, is there like... Okay, there's nothing here now. Cool! Um... I guess we'll just free roam. Again, like, I don't really feel like doing anything in the game anyway. Oh, he included BB Can winners? Okay, I guess that would make sense. Because I guess that would be like 20... Yeah, it would be over 26 at least. He's Canadian. Well, good for him, I guess. Uh, um, I, I, I feel like... like uh, it feels weird to like just rank every... Like, just have a video called Ranking the Big Brother Winners. Uh, in, like, not include the fact that you're including US and Canada, but uh, whatever. You rank BB Can 6 as the best season? I mean, uh, BB Can 6 is a very good season if you watch the feeds. Uh, if we're talking about the televised show, uh, I got... Mm. Claim Jen Johnson is a great player to act dumb as strategy. Uh, sure, let's say that. Yeah, what is this show? Oh, I, yeah, I couldn't... I'm not pronouncing that, am I? 
to her, even their like real names. I I don't even know how to pronounce those. Worst Gen BB8 or Gen BB14? I would say probably Gen BB8. Really, at least Gen BB8 had, or Gen BB14 had like more allies. Um, towards the end game, like Gen, like really throughout the entire season, really only had what Kale. <laughs> um. How do they got view BB Can six if I never watch feeds? That's the thing I I do wonder. Like because like I think it's kind of like my situation with The Last of Us, where like it's a situation where like I know the feeds. So I know it's such a like it's a much better season than what the show is showing. Oh, okay, well I'm being an idiot there. Um be like so I know like what it could be. And it's like disappointing that it's not what it could be. But it's still, like, it could potentially be good in its own right. But I don't really have that, like... Like, I don't really have a good sense of how to interpret the show um, without the context of the feeds. Because, like, whenever I think of, like, the Johnny week, uh, of Johnny saving himself against Ryan, like, I think of, like, oh my god, that's, like, an all-time great week of feeds that none of that translated to the show. <laughs> um... But, like, I, I struggle with, like, assessing that week on its own merit. Uh, because, like, all I'm thinking about is, like, wow, this could have been so much better if they properly, like, showed what happened this week. So, I don't know. Um, I think it's tough to really say. Well, like, at least with Last of Us, like, I, I can say, like, again, The Last of Us TV show is genuinely a great show. It's just that I personally have issues with it because of how connected I am with the original. Um, but, like, I think if you're watching it without the context of the original, or even, like, without my context of the original, um, like, it is a fantastic show. Like, the way, like, just, um, like, the basis, like, the basic story of The Last of Us is still fantastic. Um, and it's clearly being made, like, with care. I, I don't agree with, like, decisions that they're making here and there. But, like, they're clearly, like, intentionally making these decisions. Um, and, like, put a lot of thought into these decisions. Uh, Jay's uh, content is based on feelings more than actual gameplay. Yeah. That's what I would assume. Thinks Gabler is a better winner than Erica and Marianne. Um, I, I can see where you're... Like, the thing is, like, um, Erica, I think, is a tough one to say. Because I think without context of exit interviews and everything, like, I would probably agree. <laughs> but, um... And again, like, I think Gabler and Marianne, to me, are, like, not that far apart anyway. So, like, that's not that egregious. It's so, like, I can understand why someone would say that. Though, obviously, I would just, like, massively disagree with the Erica one. And then I think even, like, him, Marianne, is, like, really close. And I guess I'll just do viewpoints the rest of the stream <laughs> for some reason. Um, Carolyn watched my videos? Well, that's cool. I assume someone... From my from like the recent Sarah Castle, at least like know who I am at least. Not necessarily like when they're on the show. I'm talking about like by the time I make a cast assessment and everything. Uh, did anyone have forty? Like I don't think anyone in forty three knows who I am, right? Or like at least not openly. It's like 42. Like we had like Zach. I don't think anyone of 41 did either, did they? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Not that really matters. But. Oh yeah, JD. Yeah, I forgot about JD. 
Uh, the gay bar? <laughs> cool. I don't know why that worked the second time, but whatever. Waluigi's mad at you? Oh no. That's a shame. <laughs> you brought a sociopath into your group <laughs> chat? Okay. Or a psychopath, not sociopath. Anyway. Um, his name is Six? Well, I think when someone's name is Six, that's probably a, a sign. <laughs> um, one of you from a non-gamer I watched said they love the show because of how it focuses on how different characters react to circumstances how it works with the world building um yeah i mean like i think the all right so uh, again like i think the show um uh, again like i feel like it's so tough to like really say things without like me like obviously being biased from like having like such a love for the original um but it's like, I can fully understand, like, I can see, like, why people are saying, oh my god, like, The Last of Us TV show is perfect and everything. Like, I, I can get it. Um, it's just that I can't say that myself. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this review. I, I plan on recording, like, the beginning of it tomorrow. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm not going to make it, like, ridiculously long, too. Um, cause I really don't want it to be like that long of a video. Um, actually, I want to look at my notes. I don't remember how long my notes are. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. I thought it was. I have five thousand words. Oh, but this is only half of the season, though. Like it's a little bit more than half the season. It's like. Yeah, it's like 60% of the season, I guess. Yeah, I have, what, 11 pages of notes? <laughs> That's gonna be great. Oh, I, I thought that was a... Oh, it was to the side. Cool. That's great. Survivor NZ is better than Australian Survivor? I wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> Uh, like, maybe NZ Thailand is better than, like, a lot of Australian Survivor, but I don't think even just, like, generally I, I would agree with that statement. <laughs> um, yeah, even then, like, I think NZ Thailand, like, I think there's, like, some pretty, like, I don't know, it it's not, I think it's, like, it feels like it was great by accident. <laughs> um... But it's like, yeah, they learned some lessons from their first season, but it still feels like there's still, like, some, like, uh, I, I should say, like, the, I guess it's mainly the Dave and Matt situation, which, uh, could have been a complete disaster. And, like, everything outside that is, like, pretty much just a basic survivor season. Um, like, pretty formulaic, just with Outpost. Which is fine. Oh, Rachel got dropped from uh, House of Villains. Well, that sucks. Oh yeah, I guess I should dr I should jot down House of Villains on my reality TV video list. Um, I'm not gonna like again without Rachel. Uh, I don't know if it's a show I'm really that interested in, but uh, who's still on? Omarosa's on it, right? That's still a thing. Let's see. Is this the current list? Who we got? Uh, someone I don't know from. What is that? Love is blind. I guess. Okay. Uh, ninety day fiance. Don't know who she is. Uh, Bobby. I don't know who that is. Uh, Corinne from The Bachelor. I have at least heard of her. Uh, Daniel Staub, I've heard of her. Jax Taylor, I think I've heard of him. Banana, oh yeah, Bananas is still there. That's something, I guess. Fairplay's still there? I thought he got kicked off. 
Uh, Amorosa, that should be fun. Tanisha from Bad Girl Club, fine, I guess. Don't know who she is, but fine. Uh, Tiffany Pollard, that should be interesting. Oh, is that it? Uh, th that's it? That's only like 10 people, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I guess it's actually more than that. But still. Um, yeah, then a maybe on Heidi Montag and Farah Abraham for some reason. Um, yeah, that's a weird grouping of people. <laughs> um, I don't know. It might be like a, a fair place still on it. I think it could still be fun. Yeah, what's House of Villains? I we don't know. <laughs> we just know it's an E reality TV show. Um, like we and we know it's a competition, right? But we know nothing about the actual competition. Like we don't know what the competition is. We just know it's a competition show, I believe. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably. I think it might be worth still checking out if it has fair play and bananas and. Um, like Amorosa and stuff, but yeah, I think Ra losing Rachel is definitely a big loss. Oh, I forgot. I I'm like acting as if like there's actually a thing I'm doing right now, and there's not. <laughs> um... uh, would I want Jordy return? I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I'm not like dying for Jordy return. Like, if All-Star... Like, if uh, Season 10 is All-Stars 2 and Jordy's not there, I'm like, okay, that's fine. But if he is there, it's also like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I can take it or leave it. It wouldn't be, like, egregious if he's not there, but, I don't know, it would be interesting to see how he does on a third time. Yeah, I, I'm pleasantly surprised with him this time. Uh, I, I really thought he was going to be, like, this kind of, like, like Rob Sister, you know, esque figure, like Yao Man style figure of like they just came off their season, just was looked at as like a a big character slash player on their season. They're just like the first boot from their tribe. And that really wasn't the case. And two for Jordy's like not really in the same archetype as like Yao Man or uh or Rob to where I feel like they're easier to let go of early on uh on a tribe, but still I, I think it was um like, I, I'm genuinely shocked that Jordy and George didn't instantly go after each other. Like, I really thought that was going to be a big storyline here. Like, I really thought, um, like, essentially, like, everything Simon is doing, I thought that would be Jordy. Like, I thought that would be, like, the big rivalry of the season. But I guess not. Uh, I, I'm probably higher on Jordy. Um, not by, like, that much, because, like, to be honest, like, I, this, uh, like, th the game he played on this season isn't that dissimilar from how he played his first time around. I just think he just, like, seems to be a bit more mature this time, uh, like, as a person. Um, but, like, in terms of, like, his overall gameplay and game ability, like, he seems around the same. Um... Like, he still, like, tried to play the middle. He tried... He still, like, uh, like pretty much got caught. Even though, again, like, I think this time him getting caught is, like, a, a much weirder circumstance and how George uh, just, like, completely flips on him for, like, no fucking reason. Uh, again, for a reason, but still, it's, like, it's just, like, bizarre circumstances that led to all that. It's, like, I don't really, like put him at fault necessarily for him for George flipping on him here uh, especially considering a lot of the basis around it was Simon winning immunity um, how do I think the traders New Zealand will do probably um, probably not that well we'll see though again traders say you did not do that well um, so like I wouldn't expect traders New Zealand to do that well but we'll see Yeah, I don't get why Simon actually... Like, is it just that Simon... Um, I don't know. Is it just that Simon's, like, threatened by George? Is that really just what it is? Well, I don't know. It is weird. Um, 
By the way, how the fuck did he chase me this far? Because, like, again, like, the fact that he's not upset at Haley and not starting this rivalry with Haley um, is weird. Yeah, they did announce Traders AU2, but, like, Season 1 still did not do well. And, yeah, I would assume, like, if this season doesn't improve, it's probably it for AU also. But, again, like, Traders was considered, like, a disappointment. I think he got helped by the fact that challenge was even a bigger disappointment so i think that took a lot more of the like the uh the blame there now if i do au if i when i rank every au player i'm not gonna include the pre network 10 shows because really they're not even the same show <laughs> like it just feels like a really arbitrary ranking if i include those because at that point it's like why am i not including like Challenge, uh, challenge, uh, challenge, uh, Survivor UK and stuff like that. It's like, it, friend. there's well, not sure even that much that. of a difference. It's like, for me, the, uh, defining factor is the fact that these are the Network 10 Australian Survivor seasons that all have this, like, 24 player format. Uh, production love, someone on the bottom. Do I see players like Tony and Boss Rob and Party ever returning? Mm. I don't think like 0% chance, but I think the most likely to return is probably Tony. Considering Tony seems to actually like, like, Based on where they were at after Winners at War, Tony, like, talked about potentially returning. While, like, both Parvati and Boss Rob talked about, like, this being it. However, Parvati has, like, expressed interest in, like, the challenge. And it's, like, that at least, like, seems to open up, like, possibility. That, okay, maybe down the road she could be interested in, the, in Survivor again. Um, well, I think Boss Rob's done. Like, I, I would be surprised if Boss Rob plays again. Uh, like, Boss Rob, I don't really see the point in boss rob playing again from like his uh from like his point of view like unless it's like a situation of like like i mean but what would it be yeah i like i don't know what it would be like i think winners at war was that of like the what it would take to get boston rob back like winners at war was that like 20 year anniversary uh all winter season back with his wife it's like that was the season that would bring him back like i don't know what else would bring him back at this point um not enough money wait do i i have no money <laughs> i don't know, like i never paid attention to that do i have like no money this entire playthrough Sandra, I think Sandra is somewhat like it. Like, I think if there's a legend sort of season, I, I would be still, like, I would still be surprised if Sandra's not on it. Even though she talks about how she's done, uh, I, I don't believe it. Like, to me, like, again, like, the fact that Sandra said she's done and then she's on Australian Survivor, like, a couple months later, uh, I, I don't believe a single thing Sandra says, uh, in that, uh, from like that point of view. I think she's back whenever they offer her enough money. <laughs> but yeah, Boston Rob, I more believe that. I think he's actually done. Chance of Jerry Stevie flipping on George and Shawnee? Not that likely, I don't think. Um, I think Jerry in particular. I, I don't think Jerry's flipping. Steve, maybe. Uh, based on the fact that, like, it seems like that's where the story's going, at least. Uh, 
But I, I lean towards no. And if he does, I think it could lead to a situation where they vote out Steve. If he does try to flip. Because, like, I do not see Shawnee and George going before the merge. I, I would be pretty surprised. Was Sandra's best non winner game? I mean. Well, winners at worst are worse than. Then I, if we're including Australian Survivor. I would still say Game Changers over Australian Survivor. But. Like, winners at worst are worse by a lot in my eyes. He said that she wouldn't come back after the Rangers Braun. She's there two years later. Uh, I don't believe she ever said that she wouldn't come back. I think she was, like, not confident in coming back. But I don't think she ever said that she was never coming back. I think it was, like, a situation of, like, if the time's right and that sort of thing. And that she would want some time off. But I never got the sense that Haley would never come back. Based on how she talked after Blood Rus or after Rangers Braun. But I, I did think that she would wait until like season 10 or something. Why did Sandra give her Iowa the niece? That's the fucking question. <laughs> why did she give? Like, I mean, it was the last time for her to use it, right? But still, it's like, well, why give it to someone that uh, doesn't fully trust you? Which, like, to be fair, like, Sandra didn't know that, but that's part of what's so bad about it, that she had such a misread on Denise. It is funny how, like, Denise makes that move. Like, she blindsides the queen of Survivor uh, by playing two idols. Uh, including one given to her by Sandra to take out Sandra and takes her out with one vote only to then be invisible the rest of the season. <laughs> uh, it's so funny that that's like actually a thing that happened on Winners at War. What do you think of the Survivor auction this season? I thought it was eh. Like I like the auction as a whole. I thought this one was just kind of boring. Um, I didn't think anything of like True Note came from it. Um, like yeah, I mean you have like Jordy and Sam that's like in Sam Frost, that's like whatever. Um, like obviously supposed to be an emotional moment. It's just kind of whatever for me. Um, like outside of that, yeah. I mean, like what else was there? I mean, like George with the reward afterwards, but like that's not really the auction itself. Um, no. Uh, I think George was also like kind of in a similar spot to the Haley, where like it wasn't like next season I'll be back, but definitely like talked about wanting to play again. Where like wasn't that the rumor is that like George was asked for blood versus water with his sister, and he said no. Okay, fuck off, game. <laughs> and not that this matters at all, but still. Redemption Island player ranking? Um, like, obviously, Rob won. Cool. Um, I don't know, who's two? Is it Mike? Steve? No, I don't know. Um, would it be Mike? It might be Mike. I don't even know for sure, but Mike's for sure up there. Like, he's either two or three. I don't know if, like, Ashley would be two, just because she came, like, really close to winning as well. Um, but I think, I think Mike would probably be three. If not two, and then after that, it's like kind of a bit more of a train wreck. Um, 
Ah, oh, like, where's Grant? And then, like, how do you assess, like, Philip and Natalie, who had, like, no win equity? Uh, how do you assess, like, Steve, who's, like, um, like, the guy running Zapatero alongside Mike, but also, like, probably loses the mic at the end to which they seem to be loyal to each other to the end and they probably would have been at the end had Zapatera got the numbers after the merge um but again like not a likely winner Andrea I think is tough in the sense that she's pretty much consistently at the bottom of Omatepe but also has like almost no win equity Like, because people talk about how, like, Rob loses to everybody, um, but Natalie and Philip. It's like, I think he also beats Andrea. Like, I don't think Andrea wins against anybody either. Like, no one liked Andrea uh, out there. Like, she literally gets isolated on Redemption Island where she has to sleep by herself. Um, why is Mike so high? Because he was at the top of Zapatera. And if Zapatera came into the merge with the numbers, he more than likely wins. Yeah, Andrea probably beats Philip and Natalie, but like everyone beats Philip and Natalie. Like my question is, does she beat Rob? I don't think so. But yeah, I would put Grant above Andrea. Because I think Grant beats most people. And, like, he technically outlasted Andrea in her boot round. Also, he got, like, pretty unlucky with, like, he was voted out uh, because Ashley won immunity. So I would definitely have Grant above Andrea, at least. Forty-one, forty-two. So you're saying 41 is better than 42, which is better than 43? Uh, I would not agree. Like, I think 41 is the best season on paper of the new era. The problem is the execution. Like, I think if we're just talking about results and, like, like, uh, like the way votes played out, like, the actual, like, blind sides, like, I think 41 probably is the best. Um... But I think, like, the way those... Like, the way the season was portrayed on the show and how much time had to be dedicated to, like, setting up this, like, new era and, like, just overall having the growing pains of, like, the start of the new era, uh, I feel like it still ends up being last of the recent seasons. Um, 42 and 43, I think, are a bit closer for me. Um, I think I probably, like... I don't know. Do I lean 42? I don't know. Like, 43 for me would be number one if it was, like... Uh, if it was edited more properly. Where, again, not necessarily from, like, a storyline... Like, from, a, like, a winner perspective or anything. Like, I don't have an issue with the Gabler win from, like, an editing perspective. My issue is more so from the fact that, like, most of the votes aren't properly explained. Uh, and there's, like, so many points where, like, we see, like the votes happen without like any proper explanation of like uh why they're happening and why people were voting certain ways and what the relationships are uh where like i think 42 had a mostly balanced edit to where like we at least understood where almost everyone was coming from during every vote um and while like as a whole i think it's actually probably the worst of the three in terms of overall gameplay um both in terms of, like, level of gameplay on the season, but then also, like, number of, like, interesting votes there are on the season. Um, I think, like, its presentation is the best of the three recent seasons, which is enough to put it at the top. But they're all, like, very close on a season ranking. I think, I think they're pretty much all back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, I think. Maybe 41 would be a few spots lower, but, like, 42 and 43 would be back to back, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's probably likely on Challenge USA 2. I wouldn't say likely, but I think possible. So, Ram, that Jody and Yes returned for World Championship? Not really. I mean, like, jo I would say Jody is, yeah. Jody is, like, kind of like a weird one. I think Yes is not that big. 
of a surprise. Well, I think if you told me that like they were gonna bring back former winners for world Ch of the main show and all stars for world championship, I would have expected Yes to be there. Um, like he he feels about right. Um, again, the first winner of all stars. Um, also, just came off of All Stars three, where I had this rivalry with Wes. Uh, Wes is also on the season. Like, I think it makes sense that Yes is there. Yeah, Jody, I do think is like kind of weird, especially considering like she, like if she had won All Stars two, then that makes sense. Uh, but she didn't, did she? <laughs> so I do think that makes it kind of weird. Um, is Brooke winning out the only way for David to lose All Stars? Yes. By the end game, yeah. Well, I mean, too far. I, I guess, like, Moana or Sharn winning. Like, really, he need to, like, David need to win final immunity. Um, as Sharn for sure votes out David, Moana is a bit more up for grabs. Um, where I think Moana probably votes out David, but I think there's a way for David to manipulate her into voting out Sharn. But also, it's like, when he got to the end with Mo and Sharn, I think he was, like, pretty much banking on him winning Final Immunity. Sophie, number one over Coach South Pacific. Uh, I would lean no. Um, like, I, I put Coach at number one. But, um... I'm too tired to fully explain why. <laughs> um, but still, it's like, I, for me, I feel like Coach, um, I think he has really terrible jury management. But I think the rest of the game, I am more impressed with what Coach was able to do than Sophie. Uh, like, I think the fact that Coach, like, again, was, like, the main person to flip over Cochran. I think that alone is already worthy of, like, being number one on the list. Um, but then also, like, uh, he's, like, the central figure within, uh, his tribe, or his, like, the Apollo group the entire time, to where, like, pretty much everyone wanted to go to the end with Coach, um, despite him being a returning player, and, like, too far, there's this, like, sentiment of, like, okay, they're thinking he's Coach, so, like, he can't win, but, like, that's not necessarily true, uh, where he could win. But again, like, they're banking on, like, him not being able to own up his game and, like, all this stuff. And it's like, um, like, to me, I feel like with Sophie, I feel like her win, um, is, like, predicated on, like, one, where Coach goes. Like, I think Coach's, like, positioning as a whole is much better than Sophie's throughout most of the game. Uh, also, it's, like, based around having to go to the end against Albert and Coach, as I don't think she beats anyone else. Um, and then also, um, is based around, um, yeah, like, Coach, like, messing up his, uh, Final Tribal. So I just think as a whole, it's like, I, I just feel like there's, like, like, it, like, Sophie's win... Um, like, there's just so much, like, predicated on, like, what Coach is doing. To where, like, with Coach also being, like, better positioned in the game. Um, like, I, I lean towards Coach at number one. Um. But. Yeah, I, I think we're probably gonna call it a night here. We're over four hours. I'm starting to get tired. So that's a miracle. Um. Yeah, Jim's probably the best player in sub IE. Uh, do I think yes to be on the main season of the main series? Probably not. Uh, Dave was voted on the XL Beach Twist. Uh, no, he's not. I don't think that affects anything. Because again, that was with the knowledge of them already uh, knowing that they weren't going home. But I think it is insanely impressive that he wasn't voted uh, to exile. Brad, top 10 male, I don't know, border? For challenge we're talking about, right? Ronald, best player of the fans tribe? No. Like, I don't think Ronald's that good of a player. 
he's a fun player. Like I think he's like good TV and everything, but I don't think he's a good player. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll end here. Uh, next stream we'll start AC4, which I'm pretty excited for. I haven't played in a while. Uh, and what we got between them? We got two more episodes of Australian Survivor. Uh, Mid-season power ranking will be out by then. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I never even mentioned that. My Tomb Raider retrospective is coming out tomorrow. For anyone that cares. Um, which actually, I did debate releasing it next week instead. But I decided, well, the challenge video is not doing that well. So it's like, I guess we'll release it now. Um, and what else? Survivor Michigan. Thou Air. Um, before next stream. And I think that's about it, right? Yeah, I'll be editing things. Last, again, I'll watch The Last of Us. We can talk about that. So, yeah. Lots to talk about. But, uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys next time, I guess.